Two. Two. Good evening. Good evening. The fine folks at Black Wrestling Podcast would like for our listening audience to know, yes, we are a black platform. We support black performers and will always address black issues. But as an inclusive platform, we cover all pro wrestling from men to women, old and new, any region, and all other forms of pro wrestling. And if you disagree or prefer some other sort of exclusion, we have two words for you. You're trash. Greetings, wrestling fans, and welcome to another action-packed car of all-star wrestling. Yeah, niggas is black with Davis. Niggas is back and niggas is black with Davis. As always, yeah. it's the Black Wrestling Podcast giving y'all wrestling from an inclusive perspective from a bunch of niggas. Um, as always, it's your boy Cal representing rockthedub.com, black wrestling, mm-hmm. all types of other shit. But you already knew that. The squad is on the line and on the YouTubes, on the stream yard. Say what's good to the people, yo. Yo, Ilfab790, your social media choice, a.k.a. Mr. Drum and Nigerian Bass. <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Fuck, Drum and Nigerian Bass. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was for me. <laughs> David, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Duck down. Duck down. Cal. Cal. What's up? Cal. Yo. They want beef out here. They Always. They want get it. In the worst way, I'm going to show them how math play. You roll them dice. Fucking with BRPs like snake eyes. We break guys. Sit back and watch the stakes rise. It's all about the Benjamins. True. That be the motto. Ran out of ammo. Started throwing bottles. Facts. At math Damon. Damon, God damn it! I said, let Damon. me tell you something. You might got more cash than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and to my real left, my real left. I said I would walk in to WrestleMania BRP prediction champion, oh. and I walked out a Mania BRP prediction champion. Davis, aka Drip, yo, that guy for BRP. We. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Um, we we'll get into WrestleMania a bit later. There's, a, there's some house cleaning and some other things we got to get into first. But Davis, you almost wasn't that that champion. I it, it wasn't until that bullshit the night two, and I lost like damn near you every shit towards you, the end. Even but. I was gonna come up with some semantics. Like I did correctly pick the team to face Nia Jax. I mean, yeah, so I was like, that should be two points. Hey, I would, I would have like, yeah, like when I saw when I, I, I still, I mean, we tied eight eight, but Ty goes to the runner, and I was when, when I saw where I was at standings wise night one. I'm like, oh shit, am, am I good at this? Did did something change? But Bam went over. <laughs> Bam had over on yeah, Sunday. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, which meant. Hey, how was Sunday compared to? Uh, <laughs> oh no, perfect, perfect way to say that's it. facts. Yeah. No, that's facts. We'll we'll get to, we'll that, get to that. Yeah, I I think uh, there's a couple of things we need to get into first, including those releases. But uh, earlier today, um, because me and brother Fam are the ones who, t- at least today, we're both working from home. Uh, Fam had an interesting story about how his day, how his Thursday started. Um, fam, do, do you mind sharing that with the people, please? Nigga, so I'm sitting here right in the same exact spot, right? He started with nigga. <laughs> Man. So oh, I'm sitting here. I log on. You know what I'm saying? Working, working. Acting? Big act. And the god yeah. dang... The god dang... The, 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 the ring doorbell goes off. Shout out to Nazir Jones. Um... <laughs> So Nazir Jones's ring doorbell goes off, and I look on the screen, and it's, it's a little damsel, a little light-skinned, healthy. 
Damsel at the door. Today? <laughs> right. Oh, well, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh. Who sent you that package? Oh, you know, <laughs> your, nigga, your birthday was last month. I was about to say, <laughs> hey, hey. I know it was Hobie Ill Fest, but hey. Hey, listen. So the ill part, like, I'm going to say, like, not even maybe five, ten minutes. The missus had just left for work. And the little oh, damsel. It's, it's... Boom, boom. You know what I mean? Or Najee Jones's ring or doorbell. <laughs> um, I look at the. I said, "Oh, okay. Oh, it is you." <laughs> <laughs> I say, "Yes, ma'am. Can I help you?" <clears throat> Excuse me. I was wondering if you had been, if your ring, uh, have you had you been uh, talking to the police? Um, did you give the footage to the police from the incident on Sunday? Footage. Police, <laughs> me give them. I'll be right up. <laughs> no what a weird to... combination of things. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discuss uh, 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 those type of things over Nazir Jones's ring doorbell. <laughs> <clears throat> so I get to the door, and um, you know the the the, uh, the Nazir Jones's ring doorbell hadn't told me no lies. There was a young. Uh, Young red you bone at my door. Me. <laughs> my eyes did not deceive yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. The camera was in HDs, and um, huh. so I get to the door. I'm like, "Yes, yeah, so, so so what's going on? What's happening?" Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, what happened was um, Sunday. You know, I was wondering if you had the footage from Sunday. Uh, we had an incident out the front of the door. I was like, "Oh, okay, what happened?" She's like, nah, you know, everything is cool. Everything's fine. I didn't think, because at first I'm like, they thought I had like side swipe. They called something. She's like, right. no, no, nothing like that. Just, you know, I was at my house and my, um, my, my, my child's father uh, hit me with my car. And, um, wait a minute. What? Wait said, a minute. What? I said, like on and she, purpose? cause she, no, yeah, definitely on purpose. <laughs> And I mean, girl, I did it. Yeah, for the rock. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Girl, yeah, she I definitely need to check the footage to see if she did it on purpose. She definitely got Rikishi right, and then Damn. so, but she so she's there, and I'm and I, I sit there now, and I'm like, oh, I gotta see this. Yeah. So gotta, <laughs> but what time was it that she had? That you got got us uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto faced it. You um, got the minor, minority report. <laughs> back, so, back. <laughs> So I'm going through my ring doorbell. I'm looking at my alerts. Nah, nothing there. No, nope, nothing there. What time you thought it was? About 12.30. Bang. So I get to about 12.30. And I look at I look at the I'm like, yo, you know what? At 12.30, so I, I, I clicked the 12.30 entry. That was like a 12.30, 12.24 entry. And it was me walking back in the house. I was like, yo. That's when I went and got my Red Bull from the Wawa. Right. So then I remember. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I was pulling in my neighborhood. And I couldn't turn on my street. Because oh. the police had a nigga jammed up on the corner. Somebody now, in my, in my Americanized mind, I immediately assume, oh, they messing with this little nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Young guy. Little BMW or whatever, and I didn't realize that he had just tried to um vehicular homicide his old lady. I tried to so, manslaughter his lady. That's crazy, right? So it it just all comes. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Like I just missed the whole incident, yes. right? And I then <laughs> she's like, well. You don't seem like you know anything, you know what I'm saying? So cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to bother you this morning. You know what I mean? She walks away, you know? And then you're like, ain't no problem. No problem. <laughs> so, so as I as I step back, I close my door. Boom. Not I didn't even get the chance to lock my door. But da 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 ding. Hello? So what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> You already knew what that call was about. Shit, shit. That's so crazy. the whole time she was watching to see if she was gonna step in the house, so, step out of the house. Like, yeah. Bad. 
So from so eight fifteen to eight twenty two, <laughs> where were you? Right. So with the where were you? Right, with the Meg the Stallion one. Right. You know, you know, baby. I think an old man hit her with a car. I think it's crazy out here. It's crazy out here for a black man. I don't even know what she wanted. I told me you lead me to my job so I could go downstairs and work and pray. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's funny you know I'm a good Christian man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The episode yeah. I was listening to earlier, you were shouting your wife out for actually being knowledgeable about wrestling and being a fan and all that because oh, she be doing. I was like, my wife doesn't, and because you were talking about, like, do you talk to a woman about being a wrestling fan? Yes or no? Like, right, right, and all that. Yeah. Which, my, so there, just, there's there are definitely times where, like, I'm trying you if you if you watch this program, um, if you watch this program, you know I'm trash with names. I'd be like, yo, you know, homeboy, no, um, you yeah, know what I mean, yeah. built like Charlotte Flair, Matt Riddle, right. you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, and, man. You um, gotta stop. You have to stop with that all week. Built like Matt Riddle is crazy. You can't, you, you can't. Didn't we just read some shit before? That I mean, doesn't apply to him, is the thing. Like he because he wrote it. Okay. If it's, <laughs> okay. Touche. Listen, Touche. Listen. If it's funny, if it's if funny. The, what do you say? Do the people laugh when you say what you say? Yeah. Will you tell Bill have a coat and a smile and shut the you know what I'm saying? Like shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, no, that's on, crazy. Man. <laughs> no, that's crazy because I know I know my wife would be the same. That that, that once that fucking camera hits, they yeah, want to know. They need fact. to know. So you're they saying that's the real reason it was invented? <laughs> no facts. No, one hundred percent. Yes, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. If you told me that somebody was trying to make sure that their significant other was doing okay or not fucking around, and hey, that's yeah, why they got the ring, Khalees or that's why they made the inventing. ring. Shout out to Kalise for inventing the ring camera. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. Um, no, I, I I appreciate that, brother fan. Hopefully, people like when 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 the next iteration of Drip is listening to this podcast in a year or two, and they get to this episode, I hope they enjoyed it as much as y'all did. Um, I wanted to ask y'all a question before we got into the WWE releases. Um, serious question, serious question. I know. Um, I don't know how much Drip is into. Uh, sneakers and uh, that side of the fashion world. I know I mean, brother. I mean, look, brothers, fam, and math. I know brother math. He be on what? What's 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 math's favorite about now? And then it'd be a Funny. shot. I'd be like, oh yeah, them sneakers did just come out like twenty minutes ago. Every <clears> every <throat> you know episode. Don't 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 shake your head, nigga. I see no, no, you had no. the bacon's it's, on. It's legit for. It's legit to show that I'm outside. I don't really, it's not for the sneakers. I only show the sneakers so you don't know where I am. It's always the sneakers. It's always some bacons. It's always some damn Air Tech Challenge 2s. It's my shits. It's some guy. The, it, the it Fujiwaras, the <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> nigga, them dunks came out 15. Yeah, I know, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I know. I'm about this. Nah, I'm but... um. That nigga say these is actual legitimate Velociraptor feet I got on right now. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I killed that motherfucker myself. No, but um, a serious question, and I, I, I know, I think I know Brother Mass answer because I've seen him talk about this on Twitter before. But uh, have y'all ever bought fake sneakers? Like yes. you, you didn't know, you didn't know they was fake, but when they, when the box got to you. Yeah. It was some straight up Bandulu Fugazi some type Bandulu. bullshit. Yes. Yes. How much y'all like how much was the sticker price for the Bandulus compared to the originals? I had no idea. So I I they matched the track jacket I had just bought 15 minutes earlier. <laughs> oh, this nigga is a piece of trash. Let, let, let me get those two. I need to get those two. He bought them on purpose. I, you, got my, you got my number? Give me, give me, throw them shits in there too. A brown, they brown and yellow? I just bought them. <laughs> <laughs> I just, nigga, do you work with them? Because these are you, are you keeping track of me? <laughs> I, I legit Thank got, you. I got got for. Um, shit, they were. Um, it was recent. Um, I was gonna say, I saw you tweeting about it not too long ago. Yeah, it was some Jordan. I'm trying to remember which one they were. They were Jordan ones, um, 
can't I can't, I can't remember the name of it. They were brown, kind of looked like the Travis Scott Jordan ones. Uh, um, was it the the mochas? The mochas. The mochas. <clears throat> Got the mochas from from goat. Mm -hmm. they, oh. were bon, they were they were Dulu. Off goat. Off goat. goat they came with this. They came with this because don't they usually come with like a card or something? Yeah, that shit was that shit was one million percent Bondulu. I wow. almost bought the structures off goat. Sent them back. Yeah. You know? Those, Those right, there. right there. Those are hard too. Those are Sent hard. Them okay. back. They were in. They were in. Uh, I guess adjudication for a month and a half. Jesus. And they they came back was like, yo, here's your money. Huh. Sorry, sorry for the issues. Blah I blah bad. blah. I bad. What takes that long to adjudicate on some sneakers? They they legit said that. Your sneakers went through the I legit check. I'm like, that's some uh, bullshit. I said, this is some bullshit. These ain't these ain't real. Right. Like, they're not real. Right. And um they they uh they uh stood up to it and said, All right, cool, here go your money. Fuck it. You, you mean like in a way like shit, you found out. Like, here you go. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't really they ain't hit me with one of those. It was just like here, here goes a full refund. What else can you do? I uh, so, well, cause I'm trying to like. All right, I I got, uh, hit, I got hit with a similar situation yesterday, but it wasn't sneakers. So you could oh, smell really? them. You could smell it. Oh, you could smell nothing but glue. You, you could, could smell, smell like they like, was put together was with track glue, like with hair glue. Son, you you know you know when you open a box of sneakers, the smell of the shoe. You, right. You can smell what the shoe you know what i'm saying like you already know this is official no, just the level and you can yeah you know what it smell like when you get them from just smell like you gotta mean this smell like sneaker free base right <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. so then they go open the a box and like junkie smoked it <sighs> <sighs> Ooh, smells like lexington market <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but well, because I wonder, I have, to, I, I, I just checked their Twitter, and they at the time they haven't said anything. I wonder, did did the young bucks get those Dior ones off of? Did they go through a Fugazi legit? Like, how? Let me back up. Let me back up. I was getting ready for snowfall last night, right? I mean, it's 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 we at the end of the season. I can't not watch this shit live because niggas is gonna spoil it on the Twitter. They gonna spoil it on the Twitter. Show starts at 10. So or by the by, by the time I was on facts, I was on Twitter um looking at people getting ready for snowfall. I'm seeing these pictures of Nick Nick Buck, Mo and Joe Buck with their feet up in the air and shit. Mo and they, Joe Buck. they pulling up those big ass flooding pants and be like, yo, look at these right here. Because they had me. they had the Dior ones. I've not seen a Dior one ever. <laughs> I've not, I've never seen a Dior one in person. I've not seen a Dior one on foot since the Kamala Harris's big. niece's husband yeah. rocked yeah. into the inauguration or whatever. So but, apparently, apparently they're big Winnie the Pooh fans. They thought they were buying the Eeyore ones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> the Eeyore ones is insane. <laughs> No, I'm not laughing at that. That was that was terrible. That was terrible. You angry? You're right. You're the Eeyore right. one. You're angry. So Mo oh, and Joe, Mo, Maurice, like y'all thought I'm Maurice, Maurice Buck. Maurice Buck. <laughs> see how this nigga, he, see how this nigga made sure. Mar I am Maurice. He made sure Mar he pulled up Maurice his, Buck. his pant leg so you could see the fucking sneaker. Right. Shouts out to the cat who said, "Boom!" All right. These is <laughs> the, these is fugazi, but watch this. And the nigga, because he said that the 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 swoosh, I guess the swoosh on their Dior's were too low. The 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 the, the ass end of the swoosh was kind of hanging too low. The nigga took a line, he drew a line on a on a real one, and then took a, a, a similar line and drew it on the bandu. And you could see it was it was like it, it, it was off. On some back into the left. I'm Shit, saying, like, like you know, it's <laughs> you see here if. If you this don't here, know, this right here. now yeah. mind mind you, I don't I don't know where these guys got these sneakers. I hope somebody had a conversation with them at some point. Um not Benjamin Kicks. Not <laughs> there were a lot of, there, there, 
He he might have been the one that no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, that's a fact. But because <laughs> well, I have to like, there's a couple of things. I mean, just the like the I don't know how big a sneakerheads they are, but the young bucks had they wear Jordans a lot when they're not in their ring attire. Just I've the seen, one, just Nick Jackson, really. No, I, 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 I've Hawaii. seen Matt, I've seen I've seen Maurice and Nicholas, but like they um Nick had a pair of bread eleven lows on. A couple of did, weeks um, ago, uh, famously when they did like the Time Warner like up right. front, they they, Nick they had Jordan Jordan Elevens I think, and everyone was like making fun of him because he had it with a suit and all that. And, like only Shane McMahon's the only guy who can do Jordans in a suit and, and, and jeans and, and all that. And niggas, I mean niggas, well, niggas, <laughs> niggas, niggas, niggas have invented. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 drip like oh yeah, yeah. of course, um, <laughs> niggas, niggas can do it all the time. Now, <laughs> where, where do you think Shane McMahon got it from? Is what I'm saying. You think Shane McMahon just like facts? He said, "Oh, oh look at them niggers over there. They, 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 oh they, they just, they just keep the sneakers on with this, with the and, suit. Come on, okay. I'm doing that too. Is that how you do it? <laughs> hey, 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 I mean, sir, sir, sir. That, that's, that's, that's how y'all do it. How dare, this with the how dare you talk about the goat Shane McMahon? Go, we'll talk, we'll, no. we'll talk about <laughs> you talking mad od right now, B. <laughs> yeah, this this Saturday wasn't a, as as a Shane McMahon said. It was also like ah. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about Shane a little bit. Now I had uh, real the, quick, real quick. The uh, ahead, mocha, what's up, what's up? the Jordan mocha, One mocha. Retro High Dark Mocha on StockX. The last sale was for four hundred and seventy nine dollars. Okay, what can you? What are the Dior ones going for <laughs> on StockX? I think at least a gra- over a grand. Yeah, God, yeah, probably. But well, this this because this was my question. I. I was discussing it with some folks that I work with who are in the pro wrestling and Ooh, last sale, 7,700. Yeah. I, I thought it was <laughs> math as well. Uh, really? <laughs> look at me. Really? Look at really? me. Um, now there were two schools of thought and I know on, online, a lot of people were a lot of the AEW crowd was on some, Oh, well maybe they didn't know it. And, or, or, or no, what was the one thing I saw? They purposefully bought Dior ones because I would they knew believe they'd be that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, be- I would believe that they would buy knockoffs, knowing they were knockoffs. Not, but I. All right. Well, the other. What you about? To I say, believe man? that. The other thing I heard was that, and and this this only works if you follow BTE and understand how deep into these minute details the Bucks and others can be in AEW for their storylines. Man said that, or he, his theory was that they purposefully bought fakes because their heel character is so obnoxious that they would purposefully wear fakes knowing they were fakes just so people could react. Get jokes off. It would make more sense if Kenny Omega gifted them to him since he doesn't know how to dress himself. He's that he would... Swag. That he would buy fake Jordans, not knowing they were fake Jordans, be like I, they looked real to me. Like I, I, I wouldn't know why. Like ah. yeah, that would make sense. We we don't believe that they just got beat for some seven thousand dollars sneakers two twice. Like I, 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 I understand why you would. I, I, you I, I would understand that story. It, that they both got beat. No. Oh, Thank that they you. did it on purpose. Yeah. Because it's something that they would do again, like it'll get yeah. traction online. Again, and they also seem like the type of guys like their wives would complain about them buying. Would they? Yeah. I mean, the I don't niggas even, run a company. Yeah, like, I don't even think it's. I mean, do they, but how much of that company do they run? Run like, come I mean, on. Well, I, I get a big hit for them. I, I well, if, if they're doing, I would assume if they're doing the numbers that they're doing in merch. Mm-hmm. If I was doing the numbers in merch that they were doing in merch. That any money I made off of the merch would just go to sneakers. Correct. That's but for them, that's really going for the retirement funds. So like in four years of dynamite, AEW shuts down completely, they don't have to wrestle ever again. Which four years they gotta retire is we hope. Yeah. No, I mean again, if we if we all see that it's like fact. AEW is not making it past 2025, then but y'all ever, we, yeah. we don't we don't think that they just like because I don't think they got scammed if that's what you're saying. Like, I don't think they you don't you don't all right now no, no. no let me set the stage. Cause do they ever wrestle in sneakers? They would just wrestle in like generic Nike basketball yeah. ones. 
But they always had the fucking flared pants and yeah, in the, in the but you could tell that. But you you could see swooshes in the majority yeah, of the time. Like, I, I I I just saw rocker pants. But anyway, anyway, that too. They had the bright as fuck silver outfits. Mo Buck had a like whole the Mo Money More Problems. This nigga had a silver. headband. And it had like beads hanging over his eyes on some print shit. Like, like they they they're really trying to coordinate. And they said, "Boom, you know, this how you, this how you freak them. You get the Dior ones, and and because these niggas was happy. Yeah, look at look at my shoe. Like they was really flexing. Like to me, the way I y'all saw seen, it. Y'all ever seen the old nigga that be copping the Jordan show and he be on the steps? One. That nigga be hard. He be like chilling with these these, what's, these what's jokers. Up, they can't take it when I get out this house. You you better see me in the club. They because they they really think they should. Yeah, he stick his little foot out. The nigga he, he run up his steps. He stick the little foot out. He stick the me. other foot out. Oh, he is these the my the new step. sneakers in the way. I didn't mean to have them on the table, little lady. But I I my theory is that they just got beat. They want they wanted to pop a fit. The best way they thought they could was spending. G's on some so Dior do ones. And so do you think they, do you, is it possible they got got and then they said, you know what, we got got. Watch what we do. That don't. That's honestly. That's wrestling. That don't so count. yeah. If they did that, it don't count because y'all Next. still got got. And y'all, it's like a nigga that fell down and just got up quick. No, I'm cool. My my only thing is, <laughs> aside from, and this is why I was asking if 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 people have spoken to him because aside from wearing sneakers on the show, I don't know how big a hype beast they are. I don't know if they talk about this on BTE. If if they mentioned, we got something special for this outfit on on Dynamite this week. Da 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 da. And then it was Bandulus, and then the week after on BTE, they was like, yo, like they 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 made a story about it. I would go with the fact that they purposefully copped bootleg shoes to turn it into an angle. I I don't think that's what I think they got got. I think they nice. they thought they had it because they spent X amount of dollars. And then niggas all online was like, "Wait, that swoosh way too low, my guy. Look at these fake ass sneakers you probably spent a couple of racks for." That makes sense because like when when I would watch BET like oh, like years ago, really, I didn't watch it since Dynamite started, but like. They wear cargo shorts and like vans were, or like watching chucks. BET? See this world? See, I say I, it again I, every time I think I say BET see, to like BET. I, I was, like, oh, I was, was watching it. <laughs> I was no selling and y'all said fuck it. It was, <laughs> it was, um, it was BET I cut. Bongo, <laughs> Versace, Paris, Suco. <laughs> what you was watching, Drew? <laughs> what would you say? Know. Hey, yo, shout out to that. Mighty Casey. Mike's white. Girls going through my mind with white bitches. <laughs> with white bitches. Mm. That's the remix. <laughs> oh, that's somebody. I don't know what remix that is. We'll figure that out though. Um, I I thought again. I thought we were going to be spending most of this episode talking about uh, mania, but uh, one this year was, after- uh, that was this edition of half size run. Half size run, <laughs> half size run. That's what's up. Shouts out to the, the half size army. Sounds crazy though. Hey, yo, does, does that make a hey, does does that make uh, Mav Trina Mom James yo? No, because he's math wealthy. <laughs> math, math math wealthy is is is, is good. I don't know. I'm, Trent, I'm Dripper Dad James. Dripper Dad, Dad, Dad James. You thought about this? Drip no, no, this is off off the cuff. Yep. Even, even then, us? So Cal, so it's either Cal, Fam Dunn or like you guys are like an amalgamation of Brendan Dunn who F- Fam Dunn Dunn, Brendan Fam. Nah, is, can you, no, Cal, you Cal, 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 I probably Cal, I probably, Cal, Cal, Cal. Well, no, it's either it's either Fam La, Joe Lafama or like <laughs> <laughs> Cal Lapoom is crazy. We gotta stop. We all right, all right, all right, all right. Because right. you. <laughs> Because you, you know, redacted. You know, we, we, you know this nigga got to go to the office Monday and talk to you. We, yeah, we can't have this conversation. Um, <laughs> now <Cal> wealthy, huh? <laughs> All right, Cal. They, 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 nobody, nobody knows what the hell's going on over here. I um, see this nigga, this nigga Trish, that James at the, at the, at the, at his desk painting his fingernails. Real funny, uh, Joe, you got there, Cal. Tr- 
Trinidad, <laughs> Trinidad's the homie though. Trinidad's the homie though. He uh, he literally he shows up to work, records whatever he has to record, and then we'll just sit there. He would sit there on the phone on Instagram Live for like twenty minutes, just opening up fifty boxes that he got with a whole knife. That's not a knife. Butter knife. It, no, I, yeah, it was not. That was a whole fucking knife. Yeah, um, amazing if he was in there with a butter knife. That's way better story. <laughs> I don't that know. nigga. I don't know. I don't know if Atlanta niggas are gonna walk around with a butter knife. He he, he got to have something sharp and, and, and ready to kill. Anyway, um, yeah, about a year after a year after Black Wednesday, I didn't realize it was called Black Wednesday until today. Um, what about th- Nigga Tuesday? This was this must have been Nigga Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> last year. The WWE release. This <laughs> Black, Black Wednesday is when the yeah. W they they they, they release Thursday is always when we get chicken in the office. <laughs> you better not be laughing, Drip. You better not be laughing. You walk in. Is killing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Walk in after a meeting. God damn it, it smells like chicken. I'll sneak you up this nigga Thursday. Get your ass out there. Get you a plate. I have I have some chicken right in front of me. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> it's nigga Thursday. Look. I, I, I have Popeyes for dinner. I'm not going front. I'm not going to front. No, but on Black Wednesday, that was a day. Kurt Angle. Uh, was it Kurt Angle? Rusev, Leo Rush, Drake Maverick. Zach. Don't you All dare the- say Drake. Drake Maverick was not fired. No, well, he, no, he was he was released, but he then he came back. He did get fired. He he was on the list. So we say saying- Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> 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 it, all those cats got got released uh, this time last year. Today. They they announced Christ. What a what a list. Samoa Joe. Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, uh, Mojo Rawley, Mickey James, Chelsea Green, Tucker, Callisto, and Wesley Blake all got a featured endeavor today. Tell a nigga um, bye bye and pop him in his right eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I, I remembered they said they hired back John Laurinaitis. This is the first time I heard his name since, and they said he was the one that was on the co- on the phone letting niggas That's know that it was. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> hey, who's a rad dude giving you that phone? Who's this rad phone? dude? Rad dude, nigga, you skateboarding Bunk right man. now? <laughs> Sit your old ass down. How the bell old is doing? Ass down, nigga. But, uh, hello, man. yeah, he's <laughs> do you have the ring doorbell? <laughs> <laughs> God oh, what a rush. That was my brother, but God you know what I mean. Damn. It was his brother. <laughs> it was. It you was. know, I came up with that. Oh, shit. I said, and I said, you know. Drew's face when he make that voice is hilarious to me. He's got... It's the glass. <laughs> it like, is, no, it is the glass. It it's is like the glass. glass here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, uh, Lauren Ives was telling people they were cutting people because of budget cuts. Now, um, there's been a lot of conversation. I want to know what are your thoughts on this group of people? Is, are, is there any one name that you were surprised about more than another getting released? Everybody's gonna say Samoa Joe. Yeah, yeah. Um, even after the announcement the other day, everybody was kind of postulating like, I right, uh, maybe Joe's gonna X Y Z. Maybe right. he's gonna. Maybe he's coming back to wrestling. Maybe he's moving to Friday nights. I heard he was. Um, I heard he wasn't injured. I heard he was better. So I was assuming he was coming back to wrestle yeah. at some point. Yeah. See, I, I, in my mind, either he asked for his release or he is not. He's not cleared still, and he can't get cleared. Mm. I hate. I hate. It. I hate if it's that. I hate Maybe if it's, it's that too. Both. I, it, it could be the thing of both for like he can't get cleared. So he's like, if I can't get, I'm, maybe it's I'm like the Daniel Bryan thing. Like maybe their doctors aren't clearing him. Yeah. Like how Daniel Bryan said, like, I have five doctors that have cleared me. It's their doctor that won't. What was, what, what was his it's issue? The Ring of Honor has 17 Sinclair doctors that have cleared me right now. <laughs> what? How did, to, wrestle, he, 
your mother on TV. I think it was he got the concussion, the concussion during the commercial, some commercial shoot. They said he got the concussion or something like that. Because he's, been, he's really been, snapped into a slim gym. Uh, <laughs> He he I'm was going. Hey, take me out of here. Me he out. was he was going the whole quarantine. Yeah, well, yeah. He got he. It was him and KO against Rollins, Murphy, and AOP, and then right before Mania, he was injured. That's for, how how old is is Joe? Joe uh, I'm like looking up right now. He ain't that much older than us. Six. Now nah, he like he's like a couple years. Forty two. Yeah, he's only a couple years oh, older. Shit. Yeah. Now he just turned forty two. Oh, so this is like, yeah, you can't waste these years. You going to AW? God dang, me and Jamal Joe was born like a week apart. I was just about to That's say, crazy. It was a, a day. That's crazy. I hope, I hope not. I hope, I hope it's not AEW. He might. Well, where, where does he? Because I, I hope it's not Impact. I feel like Impact would be a. Even though he's he was there and ROH too, he he did his time there. But I I feel like at this point. And unless he really I, wants to go, I feel no, like it's a step down. It would it would be best for him if to go to AEW. He can have good matches with Jericho. He can have good matches oh my with God. Christian Jericho. King. That's the yeah. first name. That's horrible. This it's Jericho. AEW. Yeah, they ain't gonna put him with. They ain't gonna put him with no Mo and they, Joe. Nah, they'll put him with. Uh, he have good matches with Rivera. Um, he'll have. Uh, they, there's there's about five or six guys that Joe could go over there and have good matches with. Put him with uh nah. Put him with uh put him with Scorpio Scott. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, I mean he is, yeah. He is that's one so year's pal. worth of work. And then what? I mean it's AEW. Yeah. Put him with um put him with uh uh what's the, the, the bastard? What's the little nigga? Uh Pac. Pac. I mean yeah, Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Who, 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 I was, I was, I was <laughs> like who me, <laughs> like who Cody? Yeah, <laughs> Cody. Yeah, I, I, well, and I, I think the flip side too is don't even put put put, put him on the on if he can't wrestle or doesn't want to wrestle, put him in the comments. He was my favorite commentary person in the last year or so. He's he was good. he smoking. Every, he was on. I, I hated seeing the Real, picture of him and that bullshit ass poncho that he had to wear at the beginning of the meeting. That was a one. trash bag. That was, that was a trash that bag. Was bag. Bad. But All that damn money. I think New Japan's an option because don't forget they have New Japan Strong. That's Southern California based. Right. Oh, they, they, just, they just announced like the NGPW Strong title tournament. Um, yeah. I can see him going there. And then, you know, again, he's a guy who has a passion for Japanese wrestling and that hard hitting style. Look and they're on MLW? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. They, they, could, put, they could put a beatdown plan back together. Is Loki Ooh. not in MLW? I haven't seen Loki in a while. I think that was the last prominent place that he was. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like that's the last place I heard he was at. I don't I, I don't because he's so dope. Yep, currently I, signed to major league wrestling. No. He's 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 so dope, yo. I, I don't I don't want to see him in, in like a bullshit position. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, what what position other than WWE are you not going to look at that way? All of them. I don't know. I I don't know, yo. That's the thing. I don't like it, AEW is too is too hokey. It but it might it might be a better like the way he goes in the ring. If he if he could get a match with a Neville, a match like a, like get a good twenty minute match on a pay per view with somebody, yeah, I'm sorry, with Pat. I, I, yeah. I don't. I told Pat you, man. with Pentagon with motherfucking Scorpio. I mean, Sky Impact also Rivera. isn't a bad choice. Yes, it is. Isn't they don't have no fans. They still don't got no fans. Niggas is leaving the ship. Oh. If he if he goes the impact, <laughs> no, I mean I mean like the case is like if he if he's that if his health's that shaky he maybe does like the Brock Lesnar thing where like he shows up one day wreck shit. Well, I was gonna faces, say he would faces be Willie Mac, Chris Bay, Rich Swan, all of them, and he just like he comes in he he plays the Brock Lesnar role finally. He's the guy who shows up when he wants to he kicks to. ass one he, match. He, will, will it even matter? He would still you would still have him on fucking you would definitely and he'd have be, him on AW. Yeah, and he'd no, be free to work elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, like that's the thing with impact. So that's why I mean, like, so if he were like, I'm just gonna go there, do this ass kicker role, this dominant role, and then go to New Japan or go anywhere else. Again, like Chris Bay was on New Japan for 
yeah. Super J Cup. So Super J Cup. All right, all right. Fr- free idea. What's his name? Don Callis, Tony Khan. You Sorry. have you, you you assuming Samoa Joe is healthy and can and can work. You have him go to Impact. Like Drip said, he, be, he I think by default he would have to become the Brock Lesnar. There's only so yeah. many people who are going to really give him competition over there. Let him become Impact World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, maybe Kenny Omega beats Rich Swan right away that, when he celebrates. Samoa Joe comes out. That's that's when I want to see Samoa Joe on AEW. Be like, look, I Impact. Yeah, on my back. Guess what, Kenny Omega? You a swaggerless bitch. Give me that dynamite title ASAP. Give me, give me the AEW World Heavyweight title ASAP. We ain't t- and, and just do it like, like that's the only way I think it could really shock. Have him become the man in Impact. Sorry, Rich. Sorry, Willie. Well, shit, sorry, Chris that. Bay. I was already sorry way before that. But I, I that that would be the biggest thing he could do, and, and maybe even then. Have him go from Impact Champion to AEW Heavyweight Champion, and then he just stays in AEW for however much, however much longer he wants to do it. But um, there's got to be a certain way about it. Uh, I'm kind of the aside from Joe. I think the I I'm not the biggest fan of the Iconics, but I I, I do recognize mm-hmm. that that whole thing is dis like there was so much potential for them to be at the very least a a WWE comedy women's team and uh i guess they didn't think it was there for billy but i'm surprised that they they because they didn't really do they didn't give peyton any type of push not any type of push that i thought they would give her as somebody who don't but they but they liked her it seemed they thought i felt it felt like they thought she was the one or at least going to be one of the next ones she stunk yo she was doo-doo she wasn't good enough, yo. And that's the thing right now in this era. Are you eating chicken? It's nigga Thursday. Okay. It's nigga Thursday. Man, get this nigga out of here. <laughs> I can't be mad. He eating, she let this man eat some you chicken. Eating ch- These white folks crazy. <laughs> Dog, God, let me see that, boy. <laughs> yo. Drip, drip, bit the breast like he ain't ate all motherfucking week. Probably did it. This is probably and did they, it. And nigga bit that breast like it was a real titty. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something crazy. Um, chicken, titties. <laughs> chicken titties. Oh god! You better, you you better eat it too. <laughs> Y'all try to kill this man, yo. <laughs> They go die live on the podcast. Do <laughs> chicken bone. God, we, we still we still gotta finish the show. Shit, this nigga dead. Just take take him, him out. Take him out. Hey, get him out of here. Cut get his mic. Cut him. Close, his, close his box. I uh I was surprised that people were what happened to drip a number three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a tragedy. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I uh, uh, I was I was kind of surprised that people were surprised or upset that Bo Dallas got the boot. He's with, with Morgan. He ain't got. We ain't got to feel sorry for him. That's Come on, fact. It, he's re- he's really with Liv Morgan though. The fall. That's what they say again on the. Who? You would know. You would know. Jersey. You would know. Look, look, look. I, I, that's the thing. I ain't seen no Bo Dallas in the middle of a ball. Nobody seen no goddamn Bo Dallas. I ain't see. I ain't see Bo Dallas on no farm. I ain't see him on no you. I ain't see him nowhere. Smoking on oh, hey, hey. I mean, hey, 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 hey. Jesus oh, Christ! Hell. Now, hey. and they didn't have to send that nigga a full message. And nigga, Laurenitis text that nigga. I mean, you know, right? He was like, you know what? When, when is yeah. it? <laughs> when did I can't even remember the last time I saw him? I think it was a tag team. He was supposed to fight him, 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 him and Henning, right? Have we yeah. seen Bray, him and Henning? Him and nope. Henning fought Bray Wyatt or some shit like that. They fought him the and fans. Henning when? This was like that feels like years ago. Oh, this feels like a minute ago. Years ago. Years, it, years ago. Henning? Did he? he I, did, I thought he was in the releases last year, wasn't he? Was he? Let's see. 
I don't. I let me check. Not, let me check the last still... match. I don't. Yeah, I don't see him I in. Their last match was against the Fiend. His last see. TV match was at Crown Jewel in 2019. That's Bo Henning. Oh. No, Bo Dallas. Bo me. What is his name? What's Henning's name? I don't remember what his uh. Kurt, um, I mean, oh, oh, um, Kurt Joe next. Henning. Joe. Joe Henning. Well, that, oh, that was his. That was that boy. Jerry I mean, the that, Axe. I think that was his name in um FCW before it became Michael McGillicuddy and then Curtis Michael Axel. McGillicuddy. What oh, a terrible name. Buck boy. Buck boy. Joseph Buckonomics. No, I don't know. Jacquees. Jacquees Buck. <laughs> King Army. Is he? I, I wouldn't know a, a Jacquees. See, and Kurt, Curtis Curtis Axel's last match was February 28th of last year on SmackDown. Wait. Wait, he went from Joe Henning to Michael McGillicuddy to Curtis yep. Axel. Wow. He was on NXT. The film. And on Ooh. NXT. And I think they'd be like, he was the son of Mr. Perfect while calling him Michael McGillicuddy. Like, it made right. no, no fucking right. yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I've, seen, yeah. I've seen creator wrestler gear. This nigga had creator wrestler names. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> Just scrolling through a list. They, of shit. Were they like Bela McGillicuddy? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. And <laughs> I thought Bray Wyatt was McGillicuddy. No, no, no. He was, he was Husky Harris. Harris. No, yeah. no, no, no. Husky After Harris. That. No, no. He, he was. He, he was always. One. No, he was always. Oh, when when he had the like the Rip Hamilton face mask. Yes. He, he was, was Bray Wyatt guy? then. No, he was no, Bray Wyatt. No, no, then. no, he wasn't. He that wasn't his name yet. Go ahead. He, he went from Husky Harris to Bray Wyatt. He went from. We were there the night he came out as Bray Wyatt, nigga. We knew that, but and because they, they were chat, they were chanting Husky Harris that night. No, but he's saying in NXT when before that, nigga. What the fuck is this? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was Husky Harris. <laughs> that was <laughs> <laughs> that was G R A. I don't know what I don't know what was going on. I don't I don't I don't know what that was. Y'all y'all really got to be watching the YouTube. I I I don't want to yeah, stress. Yeah. But y'all, at y'all Black really when well, I add just Black Wrestling on YouTube. YouTube.com slash c slash Black Wrestling. Um, what was I gonna say? So there were after all or of this. Axel Mulligan. <laughs> Axel Mulligan is a terrible name too. That I don't, oh, that was a Black Jack Mulligan. Yeah, or something. Is, yeah. Um. So, them niggas just mess with hoes that did it to wrestlers, huh? That whole family ain't nothing but ring rats. All still recording. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of your favorites. My, that, my like, mother was fourth generation ring rat. I mean, what, what's <laughs> that's crazy? <laughs> that's crazy. Fourth generation ring rat is crazy. <laughs> that's I had to say because they're always like Randy Orton, third generation superstar, his wife, fourth generation ring rat. Like that's that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. God damn. Uh, not too, not too long after these releases were 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 uh, were announced. Everybody said, oh, so y'all going to release Samoa Joe, but somehow Felveteen Dream is still around. Uh, when is Matt Riddle? Are these, these niggas is untouchable at this point. They're not going nowhere. No, not only Matt Riddle is untouchable because we haven't seen Velveteen Dream in months. Yes. And he was, he was getting ran through the ringer. And don't forget, Triple H then went on the conference call and be like, no, 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 we're not taking him off TV for this for that reason. He had a legit injury. He was injured, yeah. that. And I still yeah. believe that car that car accident was a work. They yeah. like they manufactured that shit like a hot, again. They yeah. had a, they made they had a cinematic match so they like the crew were like do you know how to do a car crash like <laughs> like can, we don't need them. We don't need the Michael Bay. Like <laughs> yeah, Damn, it was like, yeah. they put him in a cast. It's like all of a sudden he's got a, like uh, okay. I mean, he's been out since then. He's been out. He had. A, I thought he had a. He had a match with Kushida, right? Is that nigga still yeah. supposed to be? It was. Say, it, it was. It was, or nah? it was right after Takeover uh, Thirty One. He had a few matches with Champa, Kushida, and Adam Cole. I think was his last match. Him and Adam Cole one on one. I don't know. And, Matt, y'all and, again, and it was huge. Try. I mean, I thought he was next up, and just yeah. Well, I got. Yeah. You know, well, I, I think that's one of the things people see again with guys like Samoa Joe and some of these other people that are here. I was, I was kind. Of, I, I wasn't surprised Chelsea Green was released, but I know a the lot. The minute of she showed up on TV, she got injured two times. NXT right, and SmackDown. Right, like she right. like 
and she's been chilling. But she, I, I feel like she's going to be going somewhere fairly soon. Yeah. Like if she if she doesn't show up in AEW or whatever fairly soon, back to surprised. Impact, I would say. Or she, Impact, yeah. Some she was in Impact a, beforehand as Laurel we'll Van, Van S. We'll see. I don't know. Um, is on the flip side, is there anybody that's still in the WWE that hasn't been released that surprise? Like, who would you have replaced some of these people with that are still currently on the roster? Well, we know who you would pick. We Ooh. know who you would pick. Come Ooh. on, bro. Ooh. Ooh, my, Matthew Riddle. <laughs> Matthew the nigga, Riddle. The nigga, Goofy. The, the nigga say, yo, if they announce this nigga, I don't care what y'all niggas yes. doing tonight. We're going live. We going live. live. That's so a celebration. Look, I, I, I can't. Can. That nigga Cal say, that Cal say, he was going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> like. Hey, Creek, turn the beat on. I would be freestyle and everything. <laughs> Creek, cut the but, uh, beat on. I said, hey, yo. Because. Hey, we'll talk about that, that goofy ass transitional champion. We getting there. Um, any but who else? Who who else shouldn't be there? Who should have been re- should replace Riker? How about that? How about that? Um, I would say uh, shit. See, else? I'm not su- I'm not surprised that Vince chose out of those three guys that Vince chose the the big well, guy. Yeah, you yeah, 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 like you know, who's the, Jackson Riker's the big guy? Yeah. Yeah, out of the exactly. like, out of the three forgotten sons, um, Steve Color was already released, and then forgotten now Wesley sons. Blake. He kept the MAGA yo. He kept the real MAGA one. He yeah, the one who was on Twitter. Game. He was on the one the one on Twitter talking all that shit. Where Kevin Owens like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, gotta love it. Hey, is he? Is he friends cut, with if I was Vince, I'd have cut Bray. I was about to say if I would cut Bray Wyatt, I'm I'm. We, when we get to many, I'm just sick of it. Tell you why? Done. Because that nigga now nah, he the red herring. Because he immediately mm. goes to AEW, and they get, he gets the championship oh, immediately, one hundred percent immediately. And then yeah. we get to see how bad this nigga really is. Oh, that's all already. I, no, because I, I see. I'm, I'm try, I've been trying to tell this nigga for for, for like two oh, wait, three wait, years. Wait, 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 I've been wait, telling wait. everybody else for two wait. three years. This nigga's booty butt. We'll get to in a bit. We're almost there. Booty butt garbage. <laughs> booty butt. Ass cheeks. I'm gonna let you in finish. The ring. Wait, wait. In, in the what? ring. In what? In, the in ring? professional. In a ring where it's him and somebody else. It is booty butt cheeks. You saw that match. Nigga came out of Jack in the Box. <laughs> that's crazy. It's facts. Shorty, Shorty twisted the twisted that's the stick. The, that's not in the that's ring. Cat. She, she that's twisted. That's no, but guess but what? I would say I would release him forever because I think he's a good worker. I just all is the he? all the extra yeah. shit. Yeah, he's had he's had he's good matches. Decent. He's a decent well, worker. He's the he last was, one. That's the thing. The fiend has no good matches. He's Bray, Wyatt, good Bray Wyatt. No, Bray Wyatt had good matches. There was Gonzalo, a hole Seth in Rock. the ring. He flew in the hole, and John Cena put a box over that shit and won the match at WrestleMania or some shit. Even John Cena, Bray Wyatt won that. The fiend won that match at WrestleMania last year. He's what was the what was the he's match where he buried the nigga when, in the ramp? He's talking about when they um the last man standing or whatever. That's with him and Seth Rollins at uh, in Saudi, right? I don't. I, no, I remember that was that was, that was oh, in, Saudi. Uh, doesn't count. Hell in the cell. Well, hell in the hell in the cell. Seth Rollins puts everything on top of him and tries to like. Oh damn! That's right. Yeah. yeah. Last man. I know I've seen it because this. I hated this fucking match. Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Last man that standing. Was in, that was no. In, Cena Bray Wyatt is the Firefly Funhouse match. No, they had a match the, oh, wait, are this, was at, pay, this was at payback. A oh while yeah, you're ago. saying are you saying not the Fiend Bray Wyatt? Okay, I'm I, I'm saying for as long as I've been watching Bray Wyatt professionally wrestle in the WWE, see, always, see, the shit has been ass. He nah. was he was decent when he had um. I thought he could wrestle. I thought he was decent in the ring when he had um. What's the tall homie and shit look like Razor Ramon? Luke Harper? Who? Luke Harper, right? No, 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 no. He Razor had... Um, Back oh, in the day, shit. day? He had another dude, Eli Cottonwood, with him. Oh, that guy was terrible. He was just... Eli Cottonwood. He was horrible. Yeah. But yeah. Bray Wyatt then was... Yeah. A little well, that period of NXT was just, yeah. Hey, yo, who all is left from the Nexus? Uh, Bray, oh, Bray, and Bad News Barrett. Yeah, he's he's behind well, he's a, a, behind a commentary like table. But they talking about he, they talking about him coming back outside soon. Yeah, I, I think he's ready. He's ready whenever he wants to be. It sounds oh, like. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bad news bull hammer. Yeah. I'm afraid I've got some news. And nigga walks in the ring like these. And he said, bull hammer in on the hub. Don't do that. You won't be upset. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Well, Justin, Justin Gabriel's PJ Black. He wrestles on the Indies and then in ROH. He Slater. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about. Think I'm saying, like, take, take this nigga out of here. <laughs> this, this Niggas in my. He'll stop. <laughs> the only ones are. I know. I know you're mean in WWE. Yeah, it's really just Bray Wyatt and it's Wade a, Barrett now. And Bullhammer. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Christ, um, Christ, Christ, uh, nah, yeah, and I, I guess <laughs> Jesus, like, I, I, I guess it, it, it probably sounds funny to some people, but I'm dead ass serious. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Y'all just released ten motherfuckers. Some of them was taking up space in the ring. Alistair Black. Oh yeah, I, ricochets. No, I, no, I, they're there. I need. The, I need you to start working these people into some matches. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're, I'm if gonna you're... be honest. I, I I heard a lot of niggas say like ricochet. They were surprised he made it, but I I, I said it a couple weeks ago. Um, what's uh what's your with his uh ankles a- ankles out? Timothy, what's the nigga name? Jeffrey Reginald. uh Benson Re- Reginald Reginald Flippy nigga. Yeah, Benson. So uh Benson. <laughs> Uh, 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 nigga Shay and and then other big homie mm-hmm. been doing TikToks together. You know what I'm saying? And it's new job squad. Hey, but it's it's been getting over. And the funny part is, in these videos, Ricochet has all sorts of personality and swagger to him, and then he get in the ring and be like, "When I grew up in Paducah, Kentucky." <laughs> Niggas you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga accent well, is that's, his own that's joke. That's what I always say is transitioning your, your real personality to the character work. Like again, like the, how much of that was Stone Cold Steve Austin? How much of that was The Rock? You know, like and, and how, how much, much of, of that was Stone Cold Steve Austin in the longest yard? Is what no, I no, 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 no. That's what I want to know. Ain't, ain't too many niggas standing at the microphone telling the jokes and then going behind the, the, the drums and go. Ba-doom. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Tag your own shit. Um, whoa. Well, I, I, I guess. I guess we'll. Oh god. I, I guess we'll keep it. Po- Something tells me that they're not done with releases, but we'll see. I don't know. It's 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 still early. Um, I wanted to shout out every like Mania week. I know Mania week was a lot. It was it was mad wrestling, it was mad other shit going on. Niggas is podcasting, niggas is tweet, niggas is raffling off merch. Um, shouts out to everybody who entered the raffle. Um, we were able to to to, to kick some good a, a good donation to to Black Girl Smile. Um, so appreciate y'all for that. Hope y'all love that 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 exclusive piece. And I will say for people who are just seeing it now. It was it was never for sale. No, it's not going to be for sale. Mm-mm. There's currently nothing for sale. Mm-mm. Yeah, when you get C's, C's and D's, I mean, what can you do but not sell anything? Um, be on the lookout for any future anything. Instagram, Twitter, blackrasting.com. Um, so WrestleMania. A nigga like me, man. Facts. Shouts out, Mitch. This nigga Mitch killing himself. WrestleMania, no cap recap of WrestleMania. Um, I, 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 I loved night one. I, I actually let me say this: I love night one, but I hated loving night one because people, people kept saying, "I love this cow. I, I love this for because because." You got to see me be a fan because there was good pro wrestling out. Night night two. Was it Chris Brown? He was like, oh, cowback. But what you want me to do? What you want me to do? It was two good. It was two good things that happened on Sunday night. I'm sitting there watching the shits like these. Cows here. I 
I, I, I can be nothing but myself. I can only be honest. And when there's bullshit on my TV, I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. But I, I do. God damn. Black history was made Saturday night. We got we got to see Sasha and Bianca put on probably the best wrestling match I've seen this year so far. It's early, but I mean, God In damn. The last year. Got she when Sasha jumps to the outside, hits the high cross body, Bianca grabs her, hit the tuck and roll, said, roll. What, what walked from the entry up the steps. You was not going to tell me right now that there's anybody aside from Sasha. Sasha, we'll we'll talk about Sasha in a minute. Bianca Belair right now. They made stuff that, that's a, that was a star making event, but I will say this. Well, I'm gonna ask you, do y'all think Bianca's there? Like it is, is she certified star or is there still room to grow? Where do you think, think she is right now? I think I think both can be true, and I think both okay. are true. I think she is there, and I think she can grow. And I think that's the scary part, is that she can go and put over or put on with any woman on that roster. Right. And she still has room to grow, okay. which makes her the most the, 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 the most uh, 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 scariest person on the no, roster. Facts. I was, I was, story. I was comparing it to... Um, I don't want to call her Rocky Maivia because she's way more advanced than Rocky Maivia was when he started getting his belt. But when Bianca has her The Rock moment, when she makes that realization like, oh, I could turn this shit up to 15, done, done. She whipped the motherfucker with her hair. Man, and Shorty, you, Shorty had a whole... It? Did Yo, you hear it? I don't, I, I don't recall a time and I've been watching wrestling forever when oh, I could literally watch. I don't, I never, I haven't got this feeling when you could see like the torch being passed or somebody, you could see it like, right. oh shit, this is well, that was a moment. Like people were comparing it to WrestleMania 21, Batista, John Cena, same night were crowned like the I future. And then Ray Ripley thing. was the next night. No, like that was the thing. Like, Going forward, these She's guys. She's not ready. Do the next one. No, and that's the thing. Like, what happened ever? Batista is the main event. John Cena Drew, won the match before. Do you, do you recall? Do you recall watching that though? No, because I was that. That was my take. Is that they never really do the right thing and put the young star over at Mania. Like, that's how you make a new star. You have to win on the biggest stage. Remember, like, they got scared of Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 31, and they, had, they did Seth Rollins instead, and that they worked. It up, yeah. I've yeah. seen, I, I, I've seen the young, the young, uh, the young individual get the win. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. I'm talking about when you can see the passing of some shit. I don't, yeah. I don't recall I'm trying to think of that. Yeah. I don't know if it was. Run. I don't know if it was as much a passing of. That's what I'm. Yeah, no, like, as, I feel much you. as it was a a uh, a shine the light on on the nigga like and and, and a crowning of Cor someone. Cor you you're you're right, cause I'm telling you how I felt when I was watching this shit. Right. It felt like you you could see the passing of some shit. Right. See, like, seeing the video of Sasha on the outside of the ring, kind of looking smiling. in the ring, smiling, and you know, really basking in that moment. Like, I'm good. I'm right. Bad. Right. I, really well, not, not just I'm good, but like I was, no, I'm glad I was able to, to, to do that for her. Yeah. Y'all yeah, want to yeah. talk about yeah. this? Y'all yeah. want to talk about this? How every woman on the roster over the last five years has had their best match with Sasha Banks. Fact, All right, yes. listen. She don't need to win at WrestleMania. And I felt bad for a second because I was like, ah, she needs to win. She don't need to win. She's great, right? She is if she is probably the second most important person at roster, if not the first, because she yeah. does so much for that division. There's right. no one there. Here's the thing with uh uh um with with Charlotte, right? And I give Charlotte a hard time. I'm not a huge Charlotte fan. Charlotte is one of the best workers we've ever seen. Fair. However, when it comes to the star equity in a ring, she is a black hole. 
Star- Charlotte doesn't make any stars. Charlotte comes in there. She puts on a great match, reminds you whose daughter she is, mm-hmm. and that's it. She's not going to put over these other people. She wasn't. She can carry a match, yes, but she will not shine any other star on the roster, and that's why she'll never be that chick as much as what Sister Sasha is doing because right. Sasha is out there representing, putting on for the division, and actually putting people over and putting them in better places. I'm finished. Yeah. No, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I again, I think when we talked about it last week, the I, I remember being like, I don't want Sasha to lose because she's always losing in these moments. But I, 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 Bianca needed to win. Bianca was the right choice, and and I yeah. think, oh my, I've never been so wrapped up in the emotion. Like when, well, the first second of the match, they got us. They got us. Yeah, it was over. What, what were she was trying to say, oh my god, it was again. Over. As someone who's spoken to Bianca before, she told me, look, I, I, I crying off. And like once ro- I think once she won that Rumble match, it's just been like a roller coaster of emotion. She got ready. And, and once being in the main event, making that history with Sasha Banks for a title is cool. Doing that the first time in front of fans in a year. I think it it, it 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 felt like a big match. I think she got sucked up in it. And for a second, because I think Sasha... If, oh, she was gone too. Both of them was gone. Yeah, it was Sa- gone. Sasha was like, damn, you're right. But she was like... Let me get it together. Yeah. We got to yeah. work. You, you ready for this shit? Let's look at me. Let's fucking go. And then they... Right. When, B- when Bianca had that one near count, and she was like... <laughs> I, Run that shit back. I, I need that type of emotion in main events on a regular basis. I mean, Give me that. And, and still the work rate. I don't think a, a main event has delivered like that since. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Because yeah. Sasha Banks I, doing the tornado DDT from the, the, from the top yes. to the ropes. And then I was like, and I'm like falling asleep in the match prior. Then like that had my attention. Like I'm like, like I got to stay up for that because I'm like, no, hundred percent. She was late. So, we 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 often uh, uh, for pay per views are on uh, a Zoom call mm-hmm. with a bunch of folks, and we talk during the whole entire. Pay-per-view. I got all. Yeah, I got. Um, yeah, I left right before. Where, I was like, I gotta watch. Like, to the point where, like, I'll ending. go back. I'll I have to go back and watch the pay per view the next day because yeah. I'll hate a match while we're on the Zoom, and then I come back like, oh no, that was I. Right. It's because I was. Talking to got that Chris Brown, you know what I mean. So either way, <laughs> shout out to Chris Brown, man. Um, right. but no. So with that match, my nigga, we the, the Zoom was quiet, yo. Nah, so, I was out. The so, Zoom. The was Zoom. Well, because again, the other problem is like when when motherfuckers is watching shit on the internet, everybody's internet ain't the fastest. So joke has got yeah. Everybody yeah. has to mute their shit, Not and today. then and, so you don't know. Like I, my, I was early. I was maybe it was like number three and seeing the shit that happened it'd be like 15 other people here's what it is it's like oh shit wait what was that oh shit like oh, oh like, shit. no oh, no this shit. Is, <laughs> but this is what happened so so it was dead quiet i got my mute on i'm like d i'm like man if i'm with d's and shit and chris brown's like yeah what the fuck i, I see what you're saying <laughs> was it work or somebody it was like maybe like 30 seconds in he was like all right so we are we all there or and everybody got off mute and just like you know just 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 it, Appreciated that fucking moment. Um, shit dope. like that's cool. Um, she was dope. I, I just gotta and, be and that and the pitfall. I was stunned when it happened. Like she hits it. I was stunned too. Right. I was like, like, I'm like, wait. I'm like, I might need to rerun. I might need to run that shit yeah, back again. That shit back. Definitely. Yeah. Same. But like, so I don't. Did, I can't think of a yo, better we match. We might should do. We might should do a watch along as bonus content. Happy lit. Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah. We can. We can, do. can, can we? We Where? Can't, no, we can't show it. We can't. I was show gonna it. say we can't. Gotta that start, they got to start listening to us and then press it's a commentary play. track. Yeah. Yeah, you got to tell them I press playing now and then you know what I mean. It's like right. they're both in right. right. Go like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd yeah. be good. I yeah. We, we, let's logistically figure that out, and I think that'd be yeah. a cool, uh, a cool, a cool event. Um, and again, best match off night one, which was the better night. Oh, but, but, was that that was the best match over the both over both nights? Yeah, oh. easily. This was yeah. now if 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 Mania was two nights when Kofi Mania happened. A would niggas have watched the second night? No, no, no reason. No, it was no. I reason. mean, don't forget. Was, 
I only watched night right. two because of Roman. Uh, yeah. Because again, the night two would have been Becky, Charlotte, Rhonda. No, we could have we could have did without that. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Was, what shoot. you was about to you was about to say something earlier, man? I was gonna say Cesaro Seth Rollins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a good one. That was a good one. Was fire. Was I thought it was gonna steal man. the weekend. So did I. Yeah. Almost it's did. still did, in my opinion. No, it no, was no, good. no, no, it, it was, didn't. It was, oh, no, it was, almost had the best performance out of anyone. I mean, but I expected, who? I expected him. Who? Look at him. Who? What? Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. We're talking about. All right, we're talking about AJ Styles <laughs> and and Giant almost taking on hey, the hey, New Drew. Day for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. Hold you on, mean hold on, pal. Hold on, pal. Drip, do me a favor. Turn that email over. This is your papers. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what did Giant almost do that was so amazing? What did, like, I, honestly? See, I won the fit in the ring. He showed not. up. And nigga had that god dang Nigerian tuxedo on. He had on that. a, 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 a skin-tight, see-through. I seen, I seen several Nigerian sleeveless. niggas at the club in D.C. with that same fit on. Doing ease and shit. Yeah, you know he mean? had on some tight ass pants, some tight ass wrestling pants. That was, were they? They, 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 they sewed those pants. on. They so he had a pocket in the back of the shit. His fit was weird. His fit was weird. Again, just the, but the Xavier Woods reaction is what made it so good. It was like, like I said, it was in Batman, and when they're like, "My God!" Like they don't, they don't. I, they're the wrong people to be, to to go to the ring first. Right, the new day is the wrong people in the room. But them niggas, they they're funny. They're legit funny. <laughs> they're now, making jokes with me. You think you think AJ Styles is AJ Styles is pissed that he's got to be tag team champions with almost right now? No. no, it just it just gave him another accolade. It gave him that, that grand uh, slam. Grand slam. Uh, yeah, he's then, gonna, that nigga gonna retire tomorrow. Why the fuck? Who who? I didn't. I did not understand what y'all saw in that match at all. I did not. That nigga looked like the great Kali out there wrestling people. No, no, he, no, 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 I don't know, but I saw the it's shit in 1987. Me. Some fucking oh. ridiculous nonsense. This nigga's got four fucking moves wrestling in a goddamn see-through sleeveless shirt, and y'all gonna tell me this? He put on one of the better performances at night one. Oh shit! It's Cal he Button. Suck. He didn't suck. <laughs> it's Cal Button. Is y'all no, kidding? Say, all right. No, here, here, because right, you're saying I, bad buddy. This was right? the match no, 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 after no, 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 no. Cesaro and Rollins. Y'all tell me this man put on. Y'all saw that match and then saw Giant almost we do these. That from Cesaro and Seth Rollins. Cesaro... And like, oh shit. If Cesaro and Seth Rollins put on a shitty match, we would have been like, what the fuck? What Wait, no. We would have been like, so, damn. So is it just the yeah, fact that almost could move and people were surprised yeah, that he could the move? The only thing we saw was that he did that. He broke a guitar. Let him, okay. let him go, Drip. Let him go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I, are we? is it a participation award? Like, are we just no, waiting no, no, no. on the curve? This nigga is not good. This nigga is not good. He, he doesn't suck yet, though. You we he yeah. did, did he didn't botch. He didn't like yeah. fall. Like, he, he, no, he didn't, didn't botch. botch. He didn't botch. But he's the in the ring with thing. AJ Styles and the New Day. I'm saying like, he didn't trip over his own feet at least either. Like he didn't like yeah yeah up. because he was picking niggas up I in the air and doing knees. I see your point. I see your point. But he's not. He's he he, he doesn't suck. Near awkward as yeah. He didn't do exactly. anything. Yeah. We play. He's trash. He didn't do he anything did for me. Look he didn't do anything where it looked awkward because he's such a big guy. Yeah, um, them shits look them shits look awkward to me, but was, I did not rewatch the match. Do so you I, remember? Do you remember? Um, John, do you remember how he looked? No, no. You were saying Giant Gonzalez fam. That's yeah. what I was thinking of that night. That's who I was gonna say. All he needed was the fucking nah, the, the, the spandex, like the spandex he hair outfit. He didn't he definitely move like that. Better. He definitely he went when, better. When that nigga was doing one of the two wrestling moves that he did, it looked like some giant Gonzalez bullshit to me. When he was hitting him in the, he's in, dark? The, in the corner, he was no. moving. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think he did well for did, I, what they asked of him. He did yeah. everything. No, no, that, 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 well. in three months, that, that's that's low praise though. though. Nigga, Forever nigga, that. don't fail. All right, I didn't fail, so I so I'm good. No, 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 because we've seen several niggas go out there and lay turds. But what he I'm saying, but no, but what, really big guys. But you, you, I, I think that's different than saying we we expected him to be worse and he wasn't. Terrible. He wasn't so it's bad good. At all. Well, the thing is, I don't. Yeah, I, don't I disagree. I disagree. Didn't, I didn't. I did not like what I saw. What I'm, I'm just saying. I know I didn't expect. I did not expect Cesaro from the nigga. Correct. But yeah, I kind of expected. Of course. I if he's expected, the UFO, I expected Ray Kali or 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 Eligante, and so, I didn't get. I got way better than those people. Yes. So way? I, I didn't see yeah. anything yes. to where we would. It's the best Greg Kali match that you can off. name. Yuck. None. Exactly. Yeah. So when but way, way, way better is what, though? Because yeah, Kali's can... trash and he wasn't that bad? I'm trying well, to understand. I'm really trying to understand. Kali, because Kali was a big man and everything that he did. Look big man. Reminded you like he was, oh, oh. No, nah, he was goofy. Oh, this yeah. guy, stiff this and goofy. Guy, oh. This guy wasn't that. He Did wasn't stiff. Recall, he wasn't stiff. The first time you saw you saw the giant, yeah, he he didn't move like a big man, right? Almost moved like that. Granted, almost is worse the, though, huh? We haven't seen enough to. You see, I we saw the match. That, One that's, match. That is the so smallest sample size. Yeah, you bugging. You, yeah, you I'm bugging. I'm yeah, bugging. Yeah. You right. Yeah. The, fourth, the fourth best person in a match with AJ Styles and New oh, Day no is all shit. of a sudden better. Yes. AJ, <laughs> listen. First of all, you all AJ did. AJ got one move off. Yeah, and they did. got beat on. They they, they he, did they did that because they wanted to impress y'all. Apparently, they wanted to make y'all see that this this seven foot eight nigga could actually move better than some of the other seven foot eight niggas. What do you mean? Like what what what's the story? Break the down story, the story to me. It's it's, it's that the, the new day knew that if almost stepped in the ring, they were going to lose. Like it's, it's the classic it's combination. Yeah. So it's so it's, and so, it's so, this combination so, of the new day. We could believe that Biggie could pick up almost. Look at like that would make sense since it's Xavier and Kofi. That part I don't care about. Let's just keep the one small guy that we can wrestle. No, in what the I'm corner. saying is the, the, the nigga not in the match I, it means nothing to me. What I'm saying is, is yeah, the, so it's the New Day did a good job of telling that story of almost yeah being yeah. a big guy and then being scared of him. Yes. Yes. So almost is good. No. That, we don't so, know yet. I, well, that's what I'm trying because you, you guys are saying he was better than you thought he was going to be, but yeah. it also it also sounds like. The niggas that's in there to work. The niggas that lost their belts to this man. I understand. Did a great job saying, of saying, "Hey, almost you need, you need this push." But that's you act like we've never praised the, the new time. day or like. That's my argument. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying nobody's. I'm saying. I'm saying. I don't want to get the new day doing a good job of putting someone over confused with almost doing a good job because I don't. I don't think. To, I don't think both of those things happen. It I did. don't think both of those things happen. <laughs> it did. It like did. how? How? <laughs> They would. That's wrestling. It, no, I'm saying if, 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 if I stand there like this and you do the whole match around me, you well, look great. He, uh, he he did did you look great. But he <laughs> oh didn't. God. He didn't stand there like that. That's the thing. The nigga <laughs> didn't stand there. The nigga hey, moved. Hey. Our oh, point sorry. is. Our point is. Almost moved around good. There yeah. is definitely potential <laughs> in this thing. <laughs> Potential you, for what? You have you thrown it in the head. No, wait, no, 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 no. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. One past 22. Let, let me ask a question, though. Let me in the hefty bag already. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question, okay? All right. After all right, almost impressed y'all enough in this match. He's a tag team champion. Mm -hmm. First after, match tag team champion. Listen, get the fuck out of here. After after that, a... when when he's done. Being a tag team champion when he's done with AJ Styles, he'll be a U.S. champion. He'll beat Sheamus. Fact. Three months from three months from now, he'll be a Sheamus. I guarantee it. Do you I don't know what they were called. I don't know. I don't remember what Shawn Michaels and Diesel were called. The dude, two dudes. You talking about a heel and a heater? The the dudes, the two dudes of attitudes. Yeah, the dudes of attitudes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's what that. That's what it, this is. He's the heel and the heater. There's the big guy. There's the one guy who's the workhorse, and then there's the guy that 
You can't. He's going. He's the buzzsaw. The problem is now. Now we go down the road, and the WWE <laughs> doesn't have any history booking big guys at all. Right. Right. Well, well, because so, I, I did. I now, did want to point right. out. This man said Sean and Diesel. Remember what Diesel is looked at is when in terms of being a and WWE he can't champion. Work either. Exactly what the no. fuck I'm saying. Oh, oh, he oh, can't work. Like, oh, entire damn career Get the no. fuck out of here. Look Get there. the fuck out of here. Almost yeah. you. You gonna compare yeah. almost to Diesel, but tell me you almost did a good job. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. You're, you're missing the point. We've okay. seen 50 Kevin Nash matches. We've seen 50 <laughs> seconds of a goddamn almost match. Yeah. And Yo, 50 seconds second was match. better than 50 matches. We said, yeah. Cal, we said, did almost, did almost do better than what we expected? Yes. The things that he did didn't look bad at all to y'all to you I, I did not like those fucking knees i'm i'm, I, I'm gonna i'll die on that hill i did not hey, like hey, it. Real, real, quick, real quick you're gonna go on and praise bad bunny right we all agree bad bunny did phenomenal uh, did bad bunny care. but john morrison fucking no they carry them hit. they actually right? carry john morrison him. no john morrison did not the miss john morrison did all the moves because yes. the yes. miss is like i can't i'm not yeah, going yeah, up. Yeah, if he can't yeah, 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 yeah. guess what guess what though guess what guess what guess what guess what <laughs> bad bunny is going a fucking tour wasn't wasn't all these motherfuckers oh, just God. trying to get these damn tickets bad bunny did not go to the performance center to be a goddamn pro wrestler almost did and he guess what this, happened he did, and he guess what happened they said nigga go he back to the performance center you can't even fuck you got to learn how to Kick this goddamn guitar. <laughs> you so or my wallet. Bad Bunny just wallet. showed up. With, bad Bunny just showed up without going to the. PC. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying no, that at all. You just I'm, said that's no, literally what no, you just said. That I, said. Go, yeah. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I've said on this podcast. I've said on other podcasts. You bad Bunny is a fan. It wasn't what you meant. He's a fan of WWE. He went to train for a minute. He was training fairly early into going to the WWE. That was the rumor. For this. Match correct. Did he did he look better because of John Morrison? Sure, yeah, he should have looked best, better because looked, of everybody. He looked better all overall, but I'm saying like the yeah. stuff that made it seem like him seem bigger was John Morrison, like back of course. for a Canadian destroyer, which everyone of like, of course, it's and and, and, and on it when it's on dynamite week after week after week. But when Bad Bunny does it, it's like, oh my fucking like, come on, like everyone's like, you I, stop on Canadian destroyers, Bad Bunny does it, it's fucking lit again, like, nah. I, 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 I did not like the Canadian. You, you're not, you're not going to try and win. I, you can't debate me with ch- talking about a Canadian. I didn't like that spot. I don't like that move. You know what I'm saying? I know everyone on Twitter was like, Dykeman Destroyer. Like, everyone's like, like, fuck, drip. like, amazing. Like, Dykeman Destroyer is funny. Drip, drip. Am I everybody on Twitter? No, no. I'm saying, like, I'm saying for the listeners who are going to say, like, you know, get his the bad bunny shit was dope. Like, no, I get it. Energy when, like, I get, like, that was the Look, thing with Sparks a couple weeks ago. He's like, we got guys doing flips who shouldn't do like bad. So bad, but he could just do a Canadian story with two weeks worth of Look, training under his belt. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Look at this. Look at this. This, this The same way. The same way. I'm going to give Morrison and them props for making Bad Bunny look good. Yes, the same way I'm going to give everybody else well, in that right. match for making almost look just good. like right. almost Bad Bunny didn't fuck up. He executed what he had to perfectly. No stumbles. I, it I, looked I, legit. I disagree in the way I Except saw almost his work. Bunny tried to speak English. Oh, what well, and 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 almost. I mean, yeah. look, oh, look. Here. Either way. <laughs> Either way, I know I reminded you about that joke from earlier, but you got to relax. <laughs> you gotta relax. Now, don't do that. Don't you do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't he, both of y'all need to relax. I think the 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 flip side is the ba- you can make any argument you want about Bad Bunny, but like I said, that nigga's gone. We're stuck with almost, and he's got a belt. <sighs> but he, th- this is the thing. You you you're not. I don't know if you're taking in the fact that he's still young. And it's possible that he's going to get better. So I think, I, I think that sounds good. Let's table this. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, let's see what happens. Let's see what yeah. happens. I, he's we're, we're, twenty-seven years old, almost. Mind you, mind and and just just so we're clear, they weren't on Raw, right? I didn't watch Raw. Really. Uh, I I watched. They weren't there. There was no there. I don't even know if they I mentioned. I did watch Raw. I, I, I didn't watch the whole. They, I don't. I don't believe they were. I think that was interesting. 
It's an interesting choice. I don't know what they're going to do. I hope for y'all's sake that almost can put on some good matches after the big WrestleMania win. And and, and I'm 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 as sincere well, as I can be. Us together, we would have gotten some, yeah, some more because now we can yeah. move on from New Day to her business. Because now who's the, oh, the Viking Raiders came back, right? I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 Well, anyway. the, ones, the ones healthy. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Um, Not the, guys, but... Both of them were hurt. No. Was real also well, the one was definitely like going for yeah, a minute. Han- Hanson, I, I don't call them by the, those bullshit names. Hanson was had the ne- had the neck surgery, and then Roe is Sarah Logan's husband. I thought he was off because she had the baby. He was on. He was on, um, he was on uh, maternity. Oh, where? And they're like the other one's not here. Don't show up. And Raw Underground's dead. And that was the only thing you were doing for like two weeks. Speak, speaking of almost. Um, <laughs> see, talk about this, like he went. He went from Akira Tozawa. To Shane McMahon, Adris, like anything got a tie, like Yeah, yeah. It's 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 what happens when you align yourself with the white guy that that the boss <laughs> loves. Somehow you get to get shit like titles and stuff. It's it's crazy to me. I I never I, I have no idea what this nigga did to Cal. I was just like, wait until Todd Brunch when yeah, I, I, and he has, has an interview with him. Vaulted. Cal has to interview him when he's fighting for the universal title, be like so vaulted. I don't know. I know. <laughs> the cow, the cow almost interview has to happen now. I don't. Please, you're gonna look at him God. like Martin Lawrence and John Sally. Like, <laughs> I, I am not going to say what is on the tip of my tongue because I do not. I gotta need... ask you these questions. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, with your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's be for real. Man's got to a get that title shot first, and b. And no disrespect, but he has to be He's already popular, the Royal Rumble favorite popular connection. enough with my audience to want to read a conversation like that. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Get get <laughs> I just said anyway. Well, so, sorry, so let, so let the transition <laughs> this nigga crazy, crazy. Like, so you were more oh, impressed by bad buddy than I'm I I liked <laughs> I, I mean, the liked, Bad Bunny match was better. As a match, it was better. Yes. I, well, yeah. I think overall, this it's good. Um, overall, the Bad Bunny match was better than the New Day. Let me ask you a question. Now that you say that, right? What <laughs> match? Wait, fam. Look at the chat for a second. <laughs> Because this <laughs> you have to do it on camera. He's like, if you don't. <laughs> What you was about to say, fam? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so of course we know. Uh, uh, actually, nah. What other? What? What were the good builds for Mania this year? Let's look at these cards. Uh, so, what, Ro- Bad Roman? Bunny. I think Roman Bad was a good Bunny, build. Bad no, Bunny. I, I see. I disagree. I disagree with Roman being a good build I, because, really? and the reason why is because why was Daniel Bryan in that match? They just chucked him in that match. And we and, now and, we assumed we assumed that it was going to be to eat a pin, and we'll get there. But because the one story? of the best, the, the story was he. All right, so won. they so he wins the elimination chamber. Yeah, Roman Ed, Ed, right Ed, after Edge won the elimination. Edge won no, the Royal Andy Rumble, Ryan. and, and no, Ed, Ed listen. Edge oh. won the Royal Rumble. He challenged Roman. In between, there was the elimination chamber. Daniel Bryan won, really and the winner him right after elimination. Yeah, and, and then the win- the winner was going to get a match with Roman. Roman went immediately after he won the elimination chamber and beat him, and then that started the cycle of Daniel Bryan. In but the 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 weird thing was is while the Edge thing was kind of on the outside, the week to week storyline was Daniel Bryan, Roman, Jey Uso, and then. Right. Edge came in, and then they made it the triple threat. I mean, it, they definitely you gotta remember Edge. Edge had a legit gripe in right. nigga. I won the rumble. I was supposed to get Why a one on one match. I can, I can not lose and still lose it because right. I'm not the champ. I don't have champions in advantage. But I so if Daniel Bryan pins this nigga, I can mm. lose this. So I think the build that way was mediocre. 
And again, the, I'm not what I I'm not gonna say trash. Weeks ago. It wasn't trash, but yeah, I, I could see that. It definitely no. wasn't as big. Yeah, it like, wasn't as big. The only thing they felt like they spent a great amount of time doing is um Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny got a lot of TV time. You're right. Bad Bunny got a lot of TV time. The they had a whole order promote. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, nigga, he, yeah. Merch. The nigga, had a, the nigga had a whole title run. Yeah. The nigga was on Saturday Night Live with their belt. Yeah, the they nigga, did a lot. They did a great amount with Bad Bunny, mm-hmm. and you said, you know what? That's good enough. We, we don't need to push anything else. All yeah, the I, other matches have just come together. No, no, I take that back. Apollo Cruz and Big E had Apollo a good Cruz and Big E had had a story. Apollo I mean, Cruz I, and Big E had a good build. For for the funny thing is, for all of the uh, the hype you get, or we we give Sasha and Bianca that story wasn't. But that was just we knew the match was going to be as good, and it lived up, and I think surpassed yeah. expectations. We just like it. They could have the worst story. We knew the match would have overshadowed that. Well, they kept uh, they they kept inserting Nia Jax and and Shayna Baszler and making they them attend nothing with the the, champions. The, 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 the the dumb shit. There was something else that I thought they should have built up more. Um, I was thinking about I don't remember which match. There was there was a match though. I'm like Rhea Ripley and Oscar. That was the other thing because um out of the blue. Well, but th- th- and this is the I funny thing. Was her. This was the funny thing because. <laughs> Rhea, no, at- that's you should do that. Like, that's what but, makes it right. see. Like, Finn Balor challenges his opponents. Io Shirai challenges her opponents. But th- that's this, what makes yeah, but they challenge team. they challenge people who have been doing well on their program. Right. And we don't know who. We're, well, we're, if we're, you're we're Asuka, you would just be one. But and rem- you know, like, you're going to face this person next, so why not just challenge her right away? Get it over with. But but I mean, but remember the story. I mean. Rhea, the word was that Rhea was supposed to go to the main roster after the Rumble, right? Um, and she never did. She, I feel like she only came on, on on TV the last couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. and, and and then it was legit just like, hey, I'm here. I'm a heel. And then Oscar's like, fight me. And that and 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 the thing is, they I, they made Rhea like Rhea got. A similar star making oh, yeah. moment got, to Bianca. Well, she should play the daughter. But where Bianca shit is up here, <laughs> this motherfucker with this slide, this right? Real slick. Rhea <laughs> shit it's feel the like the it's shit. about Look here. At her and I don't him. know yeah. nothing about that. Who's the, who's the mama? China? Yeah. China. That's crazy. They had her, dropped her off in New Zealand. No. China and him broke up. And then years later, she became a wrestler. The and he people. saw her. The views of drip are, are not held by. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. she does like the like the Motorhead esque rip off entrance and the whole like leather leather hey. jackets and vests and shit. Like, hey, drip, come on, drip wrote drip wrote Thor two. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, I I I thought I was thinking about it today. I, I just thought it was interesting that two former like recent NXT women got. Major wins this weekend. No, that's they, what I was saying. That WrestleMania felt, 21 similarities. Yeah, Everyone's pointing yeah. out, like, and like Batista yeah, John Cena were the last two in the Rumble that year. It was but, down to Bianca and Ray Ripley. But yeah. I, I, I feel like John Cena and Batista, in terms of status, felt closer together than Bianca. Like, and it's, it's no shade to Rhea. Rhea is the women's yeah, champion and, of Raw, but it doesn't hit the Rhea. same as as Bianca winning that title. No, as well. like That's because it's because Bianca is believable. Rhea Ripley should not have that belt. They've done so much to disrespect Asuka after what she did uh, yeah. during the pandemic. Um, I hated that she won the match, to be honest. And mm. whatever they do, if if she's going, if she if she's a heel. I believe she's a heel now. Is she yeah. heel? It doesn't matter. She, it's a because if she right. isn't a face, right? If she isn't a like, if she ever ends up face, like they're gonna say she never earned it. Well, so it and, was... and, 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 and the problem with that is, is if you're bringing her up as a heel now, and all she does is it was win by dastardly means, it's right. going to lessen the character, and she's not gonna be respected as a wrestler. Yeah, I think. Um, I think clip... it's bad booking. In Raw, I saw that on, on Raw this week, they when she came to the ring, mind you, they're in the Thunderdome, so fans ain't really there, but they piped in the booze. Like, they, they want you to know that Shorty is supposed to. I don't know. Because the other thing is, on the same show, we had uh, Fam's girl, Charlotte Flair. 
she's talking big shit about how she wants to she's for the goal. But she's a, I don't I, I, like. Is it going to be heel versus heel? Are they going to throw Oscar in the mix? Yeah, like it's a triple threat. Yeah. Booty, booty butt cheeks. I, yeah. The, that WrestleMania with, backlash. She came in with the control verse. No. That's that's probably um that's probably uh <laughs> that's, that's cool. funny. That's probably that's uh money in the bank. I, well, I mean WrestleMania backlash is next. Right. And that yeah, is the so name of the is show. What's I, you know that? what? Give Oscar uh, I would I think. would much rather see give Oscar back her her championship and let her and 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 Flair Jr. go at it for a while and I'm okay if Flair takes the belt off Oscar because I know what a a loss to Flair means. A, 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 a loss to Flair isn't cheapening your value to the company because of how how much they value her. Um a loss to the new chick at the Uden ran through and ran the division mm. um with Bailey the, the whole prior year is a disrespect in my opinion. So I would rather her win it back at uh, 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 WrestleMania Rewind and then beat. That's funny. And then get a belt back and then and then it be Oscar and Charlotte. I don't. Rhea, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, Rhea Ripley needs to 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 get your get your get your uh get your get your reps up. Be get your stripes. Um, yeah, it's WrestleMania Backlash on May 16th, and then June 20th is Money in the Bank. Um, CBSSports.com oh, is lit that week. They're, they're saying that uh, NXT UK TakeOver Dublin is also uh, we that lit, same. We lit Money in the Bank week. Are we? What's the date? Yeah. The June 20th. 20th? What's, what's, what's that? Juneteenth. Oh, oh. We lit, we lit that week. Wait. That's the pay per view that's going to celebrate the BRP fifty twenty twenty one big bars. Hmm. Are people do mm. quick PSA now? I know you can't get the Pac Man Hulk Hogan. I wore this on purpose. That's done. Boo. You can't. You can't wear. You can't get this anywhere. But you, only you, mean, you mean you mean the host of WrestleMania? <laughs> Boo. Boo. Anyway, um, Titus? facts that Nick. That Nick's, uh, um. <laughs> Bailey really low key was the host, but um, we do sell merch. I know a lot of y'all do come through here for merch. I know a bunch of y'all do come here for the shenanigans on the YouTube and the podcast. But uh, I'm hoping that a good amount of people first heard of us because of our annual BRP50 list. Uh, the third installment will be going down June, the week of Juneteenth, 2021. <laughs> Subscribe to the Instagram, follow the Twitter, definitely subscribe to the podcast. Um, you'll hear about more of that. You'll hear more about that very soon. Where uh, Brother Matthews is still uh, he's, he's, he's cooking up some marvelous shit uh, on that end. But we'll, we'll we'll get to that in a bit. Um, this nigga's about to be unbearable. <laughs> facts, <laughs> facts. It's gonna be a whole problem. It's good. Um, the other speaking wait of that, ba- this oh, bitch get into it. I can't wait. wait. He's getting cussed out. Wait, I wait. Can't, I can't Do, wait to hand in my test. Should, should we, <laughs> for shits and giggles, should we record that 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 conversation and drop it after, like a bonus episode after we drop the, 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 the top ten? We'd be, be ready. To break up. I love it. I said, it, it, we'd be ready. It, and now, Cuz gonna say some stuff that he probably shouldn't say that he can't. It. It'll be the, the way, Christian Bale. Good for you, like it, <laughs> the way the way I got hype talking about almost. That's gonna be this nigga talking yeah. about fucking Leon Ruff or somebody. Hey, I, I was gonna say I think Leon, Leon Ruff is top ten for sure. Top ten? I'm fighting for maybe the top five. This is we're taking your votes back. <laughs> top ten? <laughs> we're taking them shits back today. Nope. I like it. I like that energy. Oh, I, 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 I like that energy because it is shit right here. <laughs> North, Ameri- North American champion. True. Top 10. Top 10. Yeah. That's what he said. Motherfucker. I know you're not putting Ruth at in the top 10. I know you're not doing that. Who? Exactly. He's number 50. He's, he's, and that he's man, like, and that man was <laughs> champion as well. He's number he's, 51. He's permanently number 51. I don't care in there, Miles. Mm. Mm. Um, 
this is this is why we need we we need to bring Terry back on because we never finished the discussion about title uh, importance. Yes. Hey T- Terry, you want to come on the podcast again? So we should probably gonna... talk about this off there. Off air, yeah. You Terry, you, Terry, you yeah. gonna come you, next week? Terry, you won't be on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm um, lit next week. <laughs> um, it's mayhem next week. Yeah. There's yeah, currently Mathermania is gonna be running wild. <laughs> What you gonna do, brother? I don't, I don't, what you gonna do with the NSC privilege? privilege runs wild. I might have to go to my. I might have to go to the Wine Republic. I, I got to see if they got privilege there. Everyone's got to got run forty miles in honor of Math Mania. I'm not cheating. Shit. <laughs> 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 Fam said bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Um, we we were talking about WrestleMania backlash, and it's killing me that uh, the first and only match currently signed for it is uh, Bobby Lashley versus Drew because Drew literally got his ass handed to him night one. Like, wh- why is he even in the running at this point? That was and that was the point of the promos, and it made sense. Get to the back of the line. His his next challenger should definitely definitely be Braun. Um, somebody I, I thought it was going to be Matt Riddle. Riddle. Is, is somebody – well, that was his first match. No, and, I know. That's why I was shocked they did that. I thought Matt Riddle lost the U.S. title and then be the cha- – well, it wouldn't the number one contenders match to face Bobby Lashley. Matt, I thought Matt, that was Matt Riddle, only, Matt Riddle only won that U.S. title so Bobby could win the world Yeah, Champions. no, so that's what I mean by that. Like, oh, you know, I you know, I didn't lose the U.S. title strictly – I mean, specifically to you. I thought they were going to try to run a similar promo where, I'd like, if I could beat you for the U.S. title, I could beat you for the – WWE Championship, like got you, but you couldn't, bro. He couldn't, bro. He couldn't. That that he had that nigga passed out in the middle of the fucking ring. I like it. I love that it clap. Was, I've never seen a twenty minute squash match. It was a little I weird, it. and it was good. It was a good match. It was a good opener. It's good opener. Wait, Bobby. I mean, uh, Drew Bobby or there's no, there's no Bobby. way. Leon I thought Rush. the match was better last no year when Leon they had it out. anywhere near the top I ten with that, that nigga. I got. I, oh, I, I, I got. Lashley's number I'm one. Sorry, I doubt. I mean, either is, is, is Bobby is Bobby Lashley number one? My number one. There's a there's a, there's a couple of there's a couple of t- contenders for that number one. I mean, especially yeah. over the last year. Which uh, what they should do is tune in that week. Tune in that week and see what week. The week of Juneteenth, twenty twenty one. Juneteenth, twenty twenty one. The week the, the the week where um they got the money in the bank celebrating the Juneteenth. BRP oh, 15, funny. I just looked up. I was I originally tried to get that June 18th off, but I couldn't. Funny enough, Man, how that works of out. Of course, you couldn't. It doesn't mean anything for you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not your day. It's not your day. You have to work that day. It's not your day. <laughs> you're, not, yeah. you're not allowed to ask for that day off. Matter of fact, you, double. work a double. June, Juneteenth is a Saturday. You might have to go in on Saturday for that one. Double. Right. Get your ass in there and and, and, and do this other shit too. Bill is cop, nigga. <laughs> it's, just, it's like in Jane. So the Bob was like, give me my coffee. Does Bill is cop. Know? Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I don't understand the Drew shit at all. I'm trying to think of his... Oh, you mentioned Braun. So they had a cage match, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to spend too much time. They had a cage match. And the, the whole story of the cage match was... Shane trying to, he was trying to go out the front door. The he was trying to climb over. The goat. He, he had these. Uh, yes. This is the goat, Shane. Man, who I don't remember. Top of a cage almost don't died. You don't you not. point to me when I say, when you say Shane. No, I wasn't, no, I wasn't pointing. I was the goat, Shane McMahon. Yes. Of what? Apparently getting thrown off of shit. Basically, yeah. But that's see, a goat. Having- it was so it we we saw a uh we Don't saw a sheet it. we saw a sheet where um where who did the oh, uh, the, producer. the producers the producers of the matches and if if the if the sheet we saw that is made true, sense. God mm-hmm. dang boy my boy man uh Michael uh DS Hayes Doc Hendricks dude 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 you know, yeah, it makes sense. That was some old school bullshit. Dude, it was ba- well, all right. So, so the the idea was Shane wanted to escape to win. Yeah. At some point, 
he was on the outside of the cage. Braun grabbed the cage, broke the cage, pulled the With nigga back hands. in the cage, pulled the nigga back, threw him off the cage, and then pinned him in the cage. That's in the rule. Hmm? No, 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 no. They need to throw him out. No, I understand. I understand. He it, he would he would have won, and then it approved Shane Wright that when he was bullying, that's what I thought was going to happen. When, when I, Shane was, it was I, cause he would have made him a dummy for real. I, well, all right, he he he, 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 he hey man, be a star, Cal, be a star. I, well, one, I I understand the idea of a cage match because the man literally ran away in their story. Like he was ducking the fade, he didn't want to be in the matches. He literally skated, so that makes sense. He fake hurt himself. He pulled his groin several times. But, but, but Doc Hendricks, if 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 the fucking match was gonna be a pinfall anyway, why the fuck did he? I'm sorry. I'm like, why did it need to be a steel cage match though? If you were just gonna have the nigga pin him in the middle, of the, what's why? Why we need all? None of this shit made any sense. He could have been. Y'all could have made it a false count anywhere match. Y'all could have done a lumberjack match. Y'all could have done all types of shit. You so did, Shane I didn't McMahon can slip off the fucking thing. He was gonna jump off and die. We saw Mandy Rose slip on the stage. You want to see Shane McMahon? I, I I don't want to see Shane McMahon do shit. I wanted I wanted to be clear at all. I don't need to see him. So ever. I'm gonna be honest. That was probably the worst booked shame yes. match I've seen at Mania. It was, yeah, it was I would terrible. say it was, it was terribly terrible. booked. No, it was apropos. Um, um what does that mean? There are conversations what, what, what? leading up to the event. It, it was fitting. It was fitting to Shane McMahon's trash. A trash match for a trash man. I'm just asking huh. questions. I just want Duke to Drosy. All Dukes are trash. You know what? Let me call this. Wild Wilding out. Was there anything else of note? Oh yeah. wait, there was really a Nigerian drum fight. Oh, before before we get there, yeah. They they Damn. never um. They didn't use the drums in the at drum. all. How do I know they were Nigerian drums? Um, if you look you at the sticker know. on the bottom, I it guess says Nigeria. It, yeah, they make. You don't think them drums is made in China? A uh, Nigerian I'm by sure. a Nigerian. I'm or were sure. they Niger? Were they new Nigerian because they were painted green? Because I, I mean, I, I, and why they didn't they? In, they were made oh, by like, a Nigerian in China. Oh, well, should should like if if used them to beat on each other somehow there was a gong there which i don't know what that had to do with nigeria right um, right but uh biggie unsuccessful Big song. Song. Oh, um man. they could at least like play like while they was there i'm sure he knew some of the backyard band niggas to play go go on the, you know what i mean or something they could have played them joints with it, it could have been a pocket match you know what mm. i'm saying yeah, no, Sandra BB had a great they, tweet where he was hoping that, like, they were, there was going to be nothing to do with that. That there was going to be like drums outside and they would like play to like a score, or, like to a tempo, like as a match would like, <laughs> like, like, I'm like some Black Panther <laughs> shit. Had had niggas, yeah, like the, like the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I was like, I was going to say, like, <laughs> Going to <laughs> like, Nigerian like, drum fight at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's that's what the song would have been. <laughs> this man is from Africa. Can't you tell? The drums are green. He beats him so well. Yeah. Make, I mean, I thought that would have been pretty cool. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vince McMahon on the Nigerian drum. I mean, they could have played the joint. Off of uh, coming to America because apparently they done made this nigga uh, Bumblebee Tuna in the Wesley Snipes off Bumble, coming to America. I forgot Bobby Tune Day came back. Daba, Daba Kato. Daba Kato. He just, that nigga ran in with a whole the whole fucking uh, Iraqi General. uniform and Wesley shit. He had Snipes. a beret and shit. The and nigga he came in dressed like General Isi. C Commander Aziz is what they call him. When I heard it. I almost thought of like, um, is isn't oh, Isaac me. Hayes a sneeze? In he is a sneeze in uh, Robin Hood Men and Tights. Yeah, he was a like, sneeze. That's the first thing I thought of when I heard that. It's huh. it's, a, it's a very bad name. I I fuck. 
is he he's going to be Apollo? Does Apollo need a diesel? No, why not? Didn't he have them two other African yeah, dudes I, or whatever at one point? No, those was just those was just regular. Ah, yeah, is, is, is you make him unbeatable with Dabakato, and Big E has to overcome that because there's always more money in the face chase. No facts. So this is Apollo Cruz is Lex Luger with uh Mr. Hughes right now. With Mr. Hughes. And he's got the belt. And That's the belt. That's interesting. I'm not mad at it. I just I kind of wish you just said, hey, it's a it's a no disqualification. Like it didn't need to be a Nigerian drum Nigerian drum fight sounds racist. I thought it was pistols mm-hmm. getting drawn. I I was still waiting for somebody to chuck that spear. <laughs> Nigeria <laughs> and Biggie just sitting there. Uh, yeah, no, that that <laughs> hey. on the back. Of, hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh we didn't even talk about Roman. Did we talk about the Roman match? No, fuck all that. I mean Ed um, showed up if it's just for no, air and say, beard. Like, he he murdered two old women. All right, the internet has to stop this obsession. It, it, niggas have, have got to stop this obsession with wanting to slander Edge for no reason. He old. No, he just his hair and they all put on they just looked weird. That nigga old. No, it, it, edge is edge is old. Edge edge can't but but I mean okay. Like I don't... edge can't there's a reason why Daniel Bryan is in the match. Because Edge, Edge can't carry it. It's a reason. Edge do bad. No, of course. But because that, it wasn't no, that's why he played a different role. He was one of three guys, not one of two. Yeah. And and that's that's cool because Edge didn't do bad. But he's don't make it Edge sound like giant almost. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's maths almost. It's, isn't it's, it? it's it's the same argument. I'm sorry. I'm just funny. But you, you're not wrong. Bad. You're not you're not wrong. I think. Uh, I do Dude. think I when they when they announced it being a triple threat, I thought it was because they thought they Edge and Roman might not have been able to or Edge might not have been able to do for Roman what they thought he was going to be able to do. Mind you, Roman just killed the both of them anyway. I but thought, see, I thought they was they I thought that, that Daniel Bryan needed a goddamn uh pen sandwich. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, because they didn't want Edge to eat the pen. They didn't want Roman to eat it. You know what I mean? Both of them niggas ate the pen. Yeah. Yo, Fuck that was the best part about it is this nigga's a super heel. This nigga's a mm-hmm. super heel. He's amazing at it. The nigga is uh, the best at pro wrestling in the world right now. Right. Like, no, 100%. Eric, he's the easily, excuse me, the best character in professional wrestling, and he's putting on the best main events. Well, he's putting on some of the best main events. And nigga, who, who, who's messing with Roman right now? Roman is killing it. But they... they- there was because oh, I liked the one big question that I, I always had. We've been having this conversation since back when uh last time Brian H. Waters was on here was the idea of what it's going to look like when top heel Roman is in front of people. They was booing that nigga. Yeah, he, they he, they he, hit that. Him, he hit him with these. They said they, they thought Hulk Hogan was in the ring. But um Facts. they uh I saw some people online talking about, oh, it wasn't the real booze. These was the booze that they was giving Roman back a couple no. years ago. That's, no, they booed his ass. They they booed him because they were supposed to boo him because he is the they heel. Yeah, he's a good heel. That nigga looked at them like this. They said, boo. He said, yeah, all right, let me go fuck these people up some more. Like, you, if that's what you want. Now, who who's... I, we haven't had SmackDown yet, but I mean, are they about to run this match back for WrestleMania Backlash? See, that's they why might, I, Edge I, might get his one on one face. No, nah, I got Edge it. I got still it. Still deserves it's, his one on one. It's Backlash, so it's going to be Daniel Bryan and Edge. What you was about to say, Trip? I hope the that's the last we saw of Apollo versus Big E. I don't want that feud to continue. That's so backlash. hopefully we. Yeah, and, and anyway, I hope WrestleMania was the end of it. Like, really, like maybe they have a match, a rematch on SmackDown. Apollo retains, and then like Peggy goes on to do. I think they're Roman. They're, I think this is the first. No, no, no. It's too early for that. 
I bet they got yes yeah, interference in the match. It's, they definitely running that shit back. I think it's the first. It's the sixteenth backlash. I think it might be the first WrestleMania. Okay, backlash. what about what was it they do Cesaro? And he beats up Cesaro Rollins. Cesaro should be next for Roman. Yeah. Is he? No, I ain't gonna have. Is he? Yes, ready? it is. You can do this. You can do the story that he's finally he won at Mania. He's finally got the momentum on him on his side, and that he's gonna finally get the one on one. He's gonna wrestle for a while. I I don't know. Like he better let them do the talking because his promos running up to the to the Rumble and now I don't know if that's main event. I I I I dread watching those segments on SmackDown unless they've got something figured out. He had a good moment with Paul Heyman on a Talking Smack. I say the the trick. That's the trick. Ago. You let Paul Heyman do it on Talking Smack, and you splice that with the promo package. Like you don't need to have him. That's cool. The next, like at some point on SmackDown, though, Cesaro's got to be in the ring with the mic. Like, yeah, I'm gonna swing you. Like he he's gonna have to say and do something, and I don't know. Or he could do the cool there. thing and be like. He picks up the mic, drops, and just uppercuts Roman Reigns. Like, I'm next. Like, Tribal Chief, who you got? Someone's got to do that to Roman Reigns at some point. Jay Uso might shoot that nigga. <laughs> exactly. See, like, he might straight up gun him down. Facts. Facts. They pull, they pull out a little toolie right out of the damn shoe. Um, about yeah, Air Force Ones again? I guess, yo. Yo. Shouts out to niggas that know about the white on whites. We're not gonna go back there. I nope. guess we'll we'll see. Dr. We'll Dr. Dre. I don't know. I don't know nothing Monday, about that. Tuesday, Wednesday. Them shits yeah. became the but them shits became the Dr. Dre's like four days ago. Like it, 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 they've been they've been uptowns for how long? After after four they years. uh after they was ads in Baltimore. I, I don't know yeah, about that. I don't know oh, nothing okay. about that. That's, I don't know that's, nothing. Fact. that's factory. I, 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 hey, hey, y'all are from there. Hey, Google. I respect Google you. I don't know. Charlie Rudo. Charlie Rudo held the Air Force One down. I respect it. I respect it. Shout out to White and Yellow. Shout out to Pork Roll in Trent, New Jersey. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Um, Pork Roll and Scrapple. Facts. I will say. Um, the scrapple egg and cheese, the ma. <laughs> there you go. Um, the uh, It was. Interesting to see every damn near everybody's ratings were up. I don't know what NXT, I think NXT's ratings were up, but they said that uh Raw did like a like two million or something. They won't do that number next week. Not after no, they gave niggas on Monday. And I'm that, usually, that, I'll, I'm usually the optimist of the crew when it comes to Raw. Specifically. And nah. you had called out, right? That there wasn't gonna be any big things yeah, come, you, come you on Monday. You said you yeah, can't because there's no audience. Mm-hmm. It's so yeah, they went from having, I think they had the same total, 25,000 in the crowd. It's Combined, the, no, no, for uh, for each night they had 25,000 in the crowd, mm-hmm. so 51,000 total for both nights. Word. Uh, Nigga. Again, yo, see, they oh, cheated to beat the Super Bowl. About, we did not talk about the first uh, weather delay in WrestleMania history, which is a very like, interesting thing. It was a whole half hour. I was I was wondering when the show was going to start. They let everybody cut promos in, in that time. KO cut a dope promo in that in that time. There was some good um, ones. Sh- Shane did not, but a lot of people cut good promos mm-hmm. in the beginning. You can't see him though when you when you go back and watch the replay on Peacock. Just- it starts right when Vince McMahon and everybody's at the ramp. They they don't talk. They don't. You don't see Samoa Joe in the fucking rain suit. You don't see none of that shit. That's the you last gotta, time I'll see Samoa Joe on WWE TV. One of the last times. Is. That's sad. That's sad. Um, <sighs> he'll, be, he'll be back to do a, a Stone Cold. Uh, so how'd you feel when they uh, cut you right after Mania? <laughs> Samoa Joe gonna be on that jump with the nose. Then they're gonna be drunk. Oh, I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm yeah. out of here. Uh, but, but, but I guess we know who fans are facing that pod brunch. <laughs> yeah, about that. About that. Smoke Joe be right there with something. Um, before, but I, I, I don't know if people saw. I was. I think it dropped around um, the end of last week. But uh, the trailer for Dark Side of the Ring three is out. Um, it debuts May six, and uh, it's going to be a two another two hour episode this time on Brian Pillman. Um. Cool. I'm trying to think the last time I actually saw something on Brian Pillman's story. It's been a while. 
Do you remember what I said a few weeks ago about Brian Pillman? No, what'd you say? Okay, never mind. Damn. All right. Tell tell me after the show. Tell yeah, me in the chat. Well, it wasn't that big a deal. I like I don't remember because you guys are trying to plan a special episode coming up, and I said, "Will this comparison work with Brian Pillman and oh, someone?" Oh, that's and, right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. He was wrong. I don't remember. He was definitely wrong. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, don't bring yeah. That shit up. Eh. He was wrong for saying it. If, no, if, I guess I think it's yeah. it's got a small case in terms of like. Is he that like is the it's drip 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 save it? I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Even though two two brothers are saying you're wrong, you're I want wrong. I, I, I <laughs> want you to hold on to this just in case that other shit happens. Because if that other shit happens, oh, yeah. I, I I I, I want to have that conversation there. Um no be yeah, that's again, I don't know the last time I've actually sat and, and seen something on uh Brian Pillman's life, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, now, 2021. I'm assuming his son is going to be on there, but uh, it'll be dope. And they said, is Stone Cold supposed to be a part of it or something? I, I would hope he uh, is telling some of that he story. Probably he probably would be. He was, was with me. He was with Pillman for a minute. 16, meet Pillman, nine millimeter. Facts. And well, because they, they were both in WCW and they both really started to, uh, yeah. Hollywood to shift, shift when they went to the WWE and really take on those uh, different characters. No, fa- and they and actually they were both in ECW. Although I think Pillman yeah, might have been there the same time. right after. Well, Pillman didn't actually wrestle in ECW. I thought it was just he did the promos. Shit, yeah, Pill- it didn't just like WWF. Right. Uh, well, I think yeah, his, his leg was fucked up. His leg was fucked up, and he yeah. left ECW and kind of just went there and was doing the same shit. But I think um, he was he was in ECW just dicking around for a minute because it yeah. If the story I remember correctly, he told Eric Bischoff, or he he sold Eric Bischoff on the idea of him going to ECW and kind of making it look like, you know, you can't tell if it's a worker or a shoot. A shoot Is he going yeah. there to be? The, but really, he did it so he could low key get let out of his contract or whatever. Because at some point he wasn't going back. Yeah, it was Cyber and, uh, Slam '96, right, where he shows up out of nowhere. Or... Right, right. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, and then he really he really perfected that uh, that wild character. But that'll be interesting. I didn't realize that David Arquette had an episode as well. Um, I don't know how much different it's going to be from the "You Can't Kill David Arquette" documentary, which is really good and tells that whole story. But you know, hearing that shit in an hour isn't going to be that bad. Um, was there anything else from this week or that I'm yeah, forgetting? Um, Mauro Ronaldo has been announced for the. Um, Doing commentary for the um for Impact Rebellion. Oh, where? Are you? Oh shit! When's that show? Uh, that is the twenty fifth of this month. Yeah, I don't know. Next Saturday. Saturday. I don't know if he's just doing the championship match or if he's doing the whole pay per view. But it's, it's it was Impact sent the tweet out. Impact Rebellion, April twenty fifth. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm gonna run through this card real quick. Um, uh, main event. Oh, this is the Rich Swan Kenny Omega, Omega match. Title versus title match. Um, this also has Finn Juice going up against the Good Brothers for the Impact World Tag Titles. Uh, Deanna Perazos um defending against Tennille Dashwood. Mm. No, no Chris Bay. No uh, Willie Mack is in an eight man tag match. They're taking on uh, Willie Mack is teamed with James Storm, Eddie Edwards, and Chris Saban versus Violent by Design. Um, yeah, there's also, I, I, I think Jordan Grace and Jazz are going to be defending the, uh, the, or they're going to be taking on Fire and Flavor for the uh, tag team. You sure this didn't just happen? I thought Jazz just had her last match. This, yeah, this, I was just about to say, didn't she just? She's yeah, uh, on, she, on Wikipedia, she's listed on unless this is taped. Well, this like, is, I, what, it's, out. I will say, they have seven matches listed in the way this is, um, done, like they're. It's out of the regular uh, framework of how Wikipedia has the matches listed. So I don't know mm-hmm. if someone fucked that up or when they were trying to delete it or add it or whatever. But it's it's listed here. But if she's gone, then disregard what the fuck I said. But yeah, I think uh, obviously Swan versus Omega is going to be the main, main event of that one. If, if Morrow's just calling that, I would watch that. If he's calling the whole pay-per-view, I think that's cool too. Um, but that's next... Saturday, we'll see. We'll talk Sunday. about it. Sunday, yeah. I'm watching on Sunday. 
and they're on Thursdays too. My whole schedule's fucked up now. I don't know what's going on. Um, shit. But before we get out of here, y'all got any black rascals of the week? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Sasha Banks Sasha taking Banks. that loud whip. That whip was. Insane. They piped that in. That that wasn't that wasn't her. Just her hair, was it? That was just her hair, champ. That that, that hair is heavy. No shit. way. Yeah, every... No way. They're hitting that on like on. It was perfect. Yeah, it, it was it was perfect. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, um, was... It's a, it's a few motherfuckers I want to go with. Okay, but I'm gonna say. Mm. I'm gonna say Culture Inc. Shout out to Eli. Shout out to to, to Malik. Culture mm-hmm. Inc. Brought the tag team titles home from an event that we sponsored. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Culture Inc. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's other events that we uh, we're a part of too, right? I uh, will talk there's about always that. Other events we're a part of. It t- is everywhere. That's when Terry's like, "Oh, I see y'all." Our DNA everywhere. We everywhere. You ain't never there. I'm sorry. You ain't never there. I go, well, I, one of these days, math. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a math pause and uh, flip the PSA for uh, for some niggas that is uh, that need. Because ni- really, why would I? Never mind. Let me shut up. Drip. Who who's your black rascal? Right. I mean, like Matt said. Like, I mean, look. There's Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks. Bobby Lashley, Apollo Crews, but NXT on Tuesday, the best part of the show was Leon Ruff versus Swerve Scott. They had a great match. They got time, and it's a few that looks like it's going to continue. I'm going to choose both of them because NXT on Tuesday delivered, and that's the NXT that's like the real shit, and they were a part of that. They were the best part of that that night. One in fact, one of these days, we're going to have a real conversation because a lot of people talk like, uh, like there isn't still... You would think the way people talk, there isn't still an audience for NXT, but the way I hear people talk about NXT, it sounds like it's very much there. There is still a core there. Um, well, the problem is, is week to week, their their product is slipped, but they deliver yes. every single time when it comes every to takeovers. Mm-hmm. Facts. It, it's Facts. always one of the best shows of the weekend. Um, I don't think NXT uh, was better than the first either night of NXT takeovers better than Mania Night One. Right, but they were both amazing, both right. good, especially the first night. Yeah, solid, very solid. I, I, again, I want to run that one back, honestly. Um, Johnny Gargano is better than Adam Cole. Uh, Adam Cole. I still haven't watched uh, night two, so I haven't seen the Kyle O'Reilly Adam Cole match. I've been uh, saving it for a special occasion. Who? Kylie Watson <laughs> That's Watson. the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> Kylie Watson. Kylie Watson might be the joke. Uh, my Black Rass of the Week oh, is gonna okay. it's gonna be Bianca <laughs> Belair. Um again, I don't uh with the number of stars that were made over WrestleMania, including Giant almost to y'all apparently. Um I don't think anybody <laughs> shot I don't think anybody was shining brighter than Bianca Belair. Um from the way she skipped down to the ring to uh, again achieve and what someone told me. She's like a couple years older than Sasha. I don't know. It's 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 just it's a it's a dope story. It's a dope journey. Um, I I hope that in the very near future she hits that epiphany. It's like yo, all right, I I figured out what the the cheat code is, and just runs the world. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, before we get out of here, y'all, can y'all please let the people know where they can find y'all on the social medias. Hey man, Ilfam790, your social media choice. But more importantly, at Where's Buffy every single week. You already know what it is, man. Where's Buffy.com? Where's Buffy.com? Where's Buffy.com? Math at Math Damon, you already know what it is. Shout out to my nigga Zell. Be more, be more bottles. Body more Shout bottles. Out to Royale. The other J Royale. Mm. All the Royale. All the Royales. Shout out to uh, Black Announce Table. Shout out to Stat Guy Greg. Shout out yeah. to Public Enemies, my niggas. I was trying to, I was trying to, um, I was trying to check out the the pod last night, but my I was YouTube, watching. My YouTube kept fucking up, and it it, it, it is what it is. But and they got bad. Boots Mobile. That's all I got. <laughs> I, fr- I I don't remember who uh, the woman was that was on. I'd have to go back and see. It's on the YouTube. Ass. 
but yeah, from dead ass, from dead ass, yeah. she was good though. They uh, there was some good, before I went to bed, they were having some good conversation. Yeah, it was, it was um, real good conversation. they went live yeah. after both mania nights too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, <laughs> I told brother fam, I was like, yo, should we Saturday midnight? I'm like, fam, should we should we be going live? He was like, yeah, it's getting me when I get home. And then it, I, I can't. I was here. I was right here. I was ready. Mm-hmm. And um, then when I got on, I saw. I was like, "Oh, Public Enemies on." It's yeah, 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 yeah. Public on. Enemies was on. They had Ethan Cody on. I'm like, "Yeah, nah, the people we were talking to in Zoom, everybody was watching that. It didn't make right. any sense. Yeah, it made no sense. So, but shouts out to them. Shouts out to them. What yeah, about you, Drip? Know. Where you at? Drip? And you can find me on Twitter at Davis, aka Drip. Instagram, Davis Colin DC. Follow at Black Ross on Twitter. I put some stats up this week because it was a monumental week. So that's where you've been, where you can see me being the stat guy for BRP. That was dope. That was actually really cool. It was what Sunday morning. Drip did a, uh, a a thread of tweets about women, specifically winning um, those championships at Mania, the the different runs and everything. Interesting. It was like it was like three or four tweets. If you go back Sunday. You'll see him on the top. Monday again because the new day fortunately went over two. Again, like the only win remains the biggest one, Kofi at thirty five. I mean, you got to take that over being. I mean, out of all the wins, like that's the one you'd want the most. Right? I'd no say. facts, big facts, super facts. And same uh, thing, like um, shouts to Sean Orleans. He said like Shawn Michaels' record at Mania was six and eleven. Yeah, he was a loser. And <laughs> no, and, and, and Sasha Banks is over six, but she's put on. A classic with Bianca Belair, <laughs> and then the triple threat match at 30, 32 with Becky Lynch and such. So, would you rather have a winning record or bangers? It's like the a the, po- the podcast where we have to debate who's better at WrestleMania: Sasha Banks or Shawn Michaels. I can't wait for it. Cannot wait for it. We'll see. We'll we'll save that though. Get your arguments ready, y'all three. Anybody watching at home, listening at home, at Cal on Twitter. At Black Wrestling on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm really just booking shows on the show. Uh, BlackRasslin.com is the website. And as always, you can find the Black Wrestling Podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, Deezer. Where the fuck y'all get podcasts? We there. YouTube.com slash C slash Black Wrestling. We drop episodes weekly as well as some other shit. We be live every now and again. Subscribe. I'm not going to say next week's show is going to be an interesting one, but next week's show might be an interesting one. We ain't doing no show, nigga. That's what we have. It's drinking. It's, 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 yeah. What the what? What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. <laughs> we going to catch y'all next week. Hope y'all enjoy WrestleMania week. We'll talk to y'all. Peace. Peace. Where the damn money reside.